Right, good day, everyone. Welcome back to Friday Night Footy. Second game of... Oh, no, sorry. Third game of Gather Round. Port Adelaide and the Essendon Football Club go at it. At Adelaide Oval. Hopefully everybody's going well. Keen to get another line watch along underway. Oh, I mean, I'm feeling this one could be a bit close. I mean, obviously the one last night was... Probably felt like a 30-plus point win for Melbourne. It was just really... Just felt like a free-flowing game in their favour, but... Adelaide were able to mount a little bit of a comeback, but I'm expecting this one to be tougher. I mean, Essendon have been a pretty respectable side so far this season. Um, I think their pressure has been really good in their intensity too. Had a great comeback win. Come from behind win against St Kilda last week. And uh, every chance to potentially knock off Port here. Um, Melbourne able to do it last week. So we'll see how they go tonight. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully everyone's going well. Welcome to the stream. Kylie, Brandon, Cow, Phoenix, Theo, Lockie, AFL legend, I'm Brandon, hopefully everyone's going well. Um, as, per, as expected, that, uh, <laughs> that other game was a bit of a snore fest. Brisbane way too good. Yeah, North are just uh, not looking the goods at the moment. They can't move the ball, they can't defend. And that, that Norwood Oval's a pretty small ground too, so... It was, it was just stuck at really one end of the ground. and It wasn't really back and forth. Yeah, it should indeed be Petra. Hopefully it is a, a close game. Tomorrow we'll even not on the hills. Yeah, right. righto. Big duff here then, mate. Game's at 1, one o'clock, I'm pretty sure. Or one forty, or whatever it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, one thirty. There we go. See, obviously I'll, I'll stream the Swannies tomorrow, lads. Um... You know, it won't be the most, most likely won't be the most exciting game unless we fail to turn up. But you know, do stream every Swans game, so come by and say hi if you want. But this game tonight, yeah, hopefully it's a close one. I mean, Essendon come into this one obviously winning last week, and they always seem to play good against um, Port Adelaide. Like that was the case last year. They they went they lost both their games, yes, but they only went down by a kick. In both matches, so we'll see how they go. But yeah, Port Adelaide had what 21 more inside 50s last week against Melbourne. They won the clearances. They just got really caught out out the back of, of ball movement and etc. So you probably expect Port Adelaide's forward half because it is you know it does have its stars. Mitch Jordi Artis plays in his first game in over a year. I'm pretty sure or almost a year with the ACL recovery. So that's going to be good to see. See, I've gone point by 11. I think it'll be KG. And yeah, the pair should be too good. Two out of two tips. One surprising, considering we're in terrible tipping this year. Yeah, I mean, both the favourites have won, to be fair. But yeah, it's a good start. And I think I was only like a few points off my margin too. So, been going all right. Went Swans by 75. Hopefully not last, like last year, fingers crossed. Yeah, I, 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 I honestly don't know. I mean, it could be over 100 points. It might not. Um, but, you know, if we cash in on our chances, like we usually do against West Coast, then, yeah, it could be over 100 points. <laughs> Hopefully going well, Ion. Um, 70 out of tips, 8 tips. Yeah, very nice, mate. It looks like you're in good form. And 2, two so far. Yeah, it's good to hear, mate. But yeah, probably opens up starting tonight a little bit. Um, assuming some people have gone the outset tip of Essendon. So it could pay off. Hopefully going well, Nick. Welcome. Yeah, sure do, Nick, mate. Um, just go to my latest tipping video and it's linked in the description in that. Uh, yeah, just click the link and if you've got an ESPN account, you, you, know, you can just click the join button. Reckon port by 22. D's by 40, says Kylie. To be honest, that game last night felt like a 40-point margin in favour of Melbourne. Like, the margin was somewhat close, but... Yeah, uh, Melbourne just too good in that second half. Yeah, but I'm hoping for it, Cal. As I said, as I say again, like Essen, I think you've got to treat with a bit of respect, especially with how they've started. I mean, got the job done over Hawthorne. I thought they were honestly quite good against us. Um, and then yeah, 
A really, really um, just resilient win against the Saints. Anyway, we'll have a look at the team sheets before we get underway with this game. So just a few minutes to the first bounce, uh, four minutes or so. So Will Setterfield comes back in the team after he had a bit of a, a, a I think a bit of an injury setback just for the week. Um, and Sam Durham's out. I think it was concussion, I'm pretty sure. So he's gone. Uh, Nick Hine will be the sub tonight. Jace Burgoyne's a sub once again. And Jason Orn Francis plays his first game since round one. Ollie Wines has a bit of a hamstring issue. He's out of the team. Francis, Eff Francis Evans has dropped. And Mitch Shortiatis, as I say again, his first game in almost a year. Which is awesome to see. Um, he's a talented young key forward. Did his ACL early last year, unfortunately, but he's made a good recovery, so we'll see how he goes tonight. And they're just showing the Dan Houston. Oh, how good was that moment, that Dan Houston kick, eh? Hey? Big Kenny Inkley loving it too. Hopefully we see Ken Inkley cheerleading on the bench tonight. That'll be uh, good, good, good viewing. Rose of Future last night, yeah, the margin was only 15 points. Yeah, I mean, again, just their kicking was really bad. I thought their effort was okay, and defending in the air, I thought they were quite decent too. And their midfield was actually quite quite good, I'd say, too. Um, they were able to win it out. It's just when they break free, their decision-making is just awful. And again, it was the same, same thing as last week. Inside 50 was just... I just couldn't hit targets. Like, it, like they did actually try and lower their eyes and hit targets, but they just, they, you know, their, their kicking was just really poor. So, yeah, not, not, not ideal if you're a Christ supporter, though. Cardi C is going to film a video at Adelaide Hills tomorrow, trying to mark it behind the goals. I could be in it. Oh, that, that, that sounds good, mate. Hey, I'll, I'll for sure be able to see you on the telly then. Especially if it's dead, if, it, if, if the Swans are going to be kicking the goals, if you're behind the Swans end. Because uh, we'll probably see you a couple of times. Not trying to disrespect West Coast too much, but. You know. We should see you plenty of times. I don't think the Crows were, in, were that bad last night. Yeah, they're just in a rut at the moment. Like. Yeah, you know, Kicking's laying them down, for sure. Walker's not at his best, and. You know, where's Rankin? Where's Rochelle? Um, you know, Saligo batted well last night, but where, where, is, where is these, you know, these high potential young stars going to really break out? You have to say anything. I mean, I'll be brutally honest, I think the last, you know, 20 or so games or 15, 20 games or so from Rochelle have been ordinary. Like, they haven't really been out of this world. Because he started last year quite well, but he just hasn't set the world alight yet. And how about his debut last uh, in 2022, where he kicked like four goals against Fremantle? We we'll plays into huddles now. Let's get this game the way. So yeah, really keen to see how this one goes. Um, expect Port Adelaide to get it done. You know, off the rebound, I think they're going to be tough to beat. But I mean, Essendon, with how they play, they they they're every chance I think. And also. I think their midfield's been going really well. Just watching them, they've been able to win a lot of ball out of there. I think they're one of the top teams in clearances so far this year. So, you know, Port's midfield's a tough one too, so we'll see how they go. It is worth going for the mark of the century behind the goals, risk of breaking points on the way down. Uh, it's all worth it, mate. Especially if you do like a, you know, you take a great mark, you might be featured on a social media page or something. Rightio, well, let's get this game underway. Oh, never tear us apart. Should I get my scarf on? In fact, Port Adelaide play the Swans at Adelaide Oval this year, so I'll do it then. Jesus, they're on the, never tear us apart a bit late. The players are already bloody out in there. Out in position. How about it, mate? West Coast to a big spray. Oh, yeah, no, fair enough, mate. No, I, was always, I always want to respect each team. Um, don't just have, like, you know, those little cheap shots at them. But, yeah, no, it is justified what I've been saying about them. Like, 
should be, um, you think a field day for us tomorrow. Even though we do like to sometimes, you know, fall asleep against probably the lower ranked sides. I just think West Coast is that bad. And I mean, look how we played against them last year too. Right? And they can never ever tear us apart. Right, well, let's get this on the way. So, Port and Essendon. It's... Oh, sorry, bloody... It, it's done this again. Hold on a second. I have the wrong graphic. Right, we're on the way. There we go. That's the right one. It's annoying when it does that. Anyway, we're on the way. So, Port hosting Essendon in game three of Gather Round. That's a poor kick down Houston. Easy intercept. Bit of deja vu. We did stream Port Adelaide last week, so we're just getting all over the pair at the moment. Danny Houston now, usually a fine user. He goes down towards the next contest in the corridor. Off hands was called well. Slapped four there from Lockie Jones. Disappointing game from him last week. A lot of, lot of poor fundamental errors he had. And good one-on-one -on -one there with Jones and Aaliyah Lear. Aaliyah Aaliyah in the, in the long sleeves tonight as well. Put out a little overrated, says Nick. Yeah, that's a fair enough statement, to be honest. They're a good home and away side, but, you know, as we've seen, they haven't been able to get it done in finals. Soldo now. Meeting the sandwich there in Parrish in Setterfield. Not a bad clash, Guernsey. Uh, they're from Essen. They've got, like, the double strike. Caldwell again. Tackles Boak. All up again. Well, here's a gun. Oh, for sure, mate. I'll tell you what. I still remember end of 2020 when we let him go. I was like, he's going to be one of the recruits of the season for the Swannies. Uh, for, for Port, sorry. And there you go. He was uh, he was electric. All Australian. One of the best intercept markers in the comp. Meanwhile, we're having players like Caden Brand and everything. Uh, it was a shame we let him go. Tell the bombers go play. Uh, oh no, sorry. So no, I am not me. Um, some coaches, players don't have what it takes to win the ultimate. Connections very important. Yes, for sure, mate. All about the chemistry anyway. Early chance here for Essendon inside 50. Has that stayed in? I think it has. Draper now. Hands over the top. Should result in a goal for Gresham. And he does. He kicks the first. Good start, Essendon. Well, I, I want to see again how that ball went inside 50. I think it was off a stoppage. I'm still busy looking at the chat. Rob reacts, um, has a hot go at West Coast over there. I've just been with him, known for him for years now. Nothing's taken out. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Rob reacts is the um, the British guy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and I remember um, he also went to the Swans Grand Final and Prelim Final. Saw his vlogs in 2022. Yeah, because he's from the he's from the UK. No, yeah, it, it's top stuff. Anyway, so Rosie down the line. There we go. Off, a, off an intercept there from Mackay. Inside 50. Langford just kept it in. Draper did well. Smart stuff there. Quick hands. Snap. Goal. Jade Gresham. Hey, he's been decent so far. As a new recruit for Essendon, Jade Gresham. He's been hitting the scoreboard now every single week. We're back on the way now. First goal, Essendon. Parrish taking in a one-arm tackle. Now Drew will get the centre clearance. Very good last week. And I'll tell you what, he started the season well for Port. Off hands now, Willie Rioli. He can go from 50. Quick response, Port Adelaide, you betcha. Willie Rioli, lovely finish from 50 out. Jump the volume a wee bit. All, right, all square. Good stuff there from the centre clearance from Port. Again, that man, Willem Drew. Southampton, New York, Okay, yeah, so then south of England. 
Rosie again, nice hands. Horn Francis, here we go. He breaks free. Good looking. Oh, just over the top there. Of Charlie Dixon. What's been the best round so far? Says Ian. Uh, it's probably a bit early to a bit early to tell. I mean, there hasn't really been any significant round. I mean, opening round was was quite decent. The, the games. Carlton coming back, coming from behind. Swans masterclass as well. <laughs> no, that was a pretty boring game to watch if you're a neutral. Hit out from Goldstein. Heppel, very good last week. Ben Mackay on his number third, just whacks one towards the boundary line. Commentary side, centre wing. Caldwell fumbles. What on there from Hobbs? Taking over. So Hobbs didn't play the first week against Hawthorne, but now back into the team. Saki Bunny's is wanting to get on. Have a look at him. The Energizer Bunny. There he is. And there. And the green boots. Soldo did well. Nice hit out there. Rosie. Hand pass. Just couldn't get to Boak. And now Parrish. What can he manufacture? That kick smothered. Rosie ground level. Clean pick up. And he's going to go for a check side here. Is at home? Connor Rosie on the board. Now I think the umpire is going to check this one. We'll see. And Paz calls a goal. Didn't, didn't look like it was touched at all. I thought, um... Mark. Yeah, gee. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, how they reviewed that. Well done from Marshall, though. Smart stuff from the key forward, blocking off Laverde. Not allowing him to touch. Jeez, that's a bit of a... I mean, cross. If, if I was a goal umpire, I'd just pay as a goal. Right, we're back in the middle. Two in a row from Port, for Port Adelaide. I've been able to generate a few clearances the last few minutes or so. Soldo head out. Oh, jeez. Bit of a... Um... <laughs> that was a bit of a... Uh... Oh, jeez. That fumble from Jones. It was, a, it was a Falcon, I think, off Archie Perkins, and it just ricocheted off him. Anyway, Nick Martin, his first touch. Off the back of 44 last week. Crunching tackle from Butters. Ball still in possession here for Eston. McGrath's had a great start this season. He goes inside 50. Outnumbered contest. Stringer brings it to ground. Where are their numbers? Harry Jones couldn't keep it in. I'm pouring his approved this year. They do so much reviews. Yeah, it's 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 the Ben Keys effect, Nick. You know, ever since Ben that controversial moment happened, and fair enough to be honest, the umpires have been they just want to double check. But I mean, like some of the stuff like that, like that that's just got to be you've got to know that's a goal. Merritt now centering ball towards the pocket. Jones almost with the one hand. Houston under that one. He's just instantly put Bergman under the pump. Good pressure there from Xavier Dersma, the former Port Adelaide player. Assuming he'll get a few boos if he has ball in hand. But yeah, I don't, I don't mind that Essendon Guernsey, the, the double, the double, the double, um, double stripe for the sash. Alia Alia now gets it out of there. High ball. Looks like Redmond was almost held there. Back in the side, of course, Redmond. Oh no, sorry, he was back the week before. Still think our game against them was last week. It was actually now two weeks ago. Sure, that's gone out. There we go. Cue the Bronx cheers, because obviously Port Adelaide were on the wrong end of a um, a controversial call that should have been out. I think it was um, Jake Warnerman or something. That one was like a, it was when it was like miles out. But the boundary umpire said, no, nah, still in. 
Another hit out for Soldo. Ground level now. Unable to get the hand pass there. Willem Drew. Rosie now. Just gets the hands out. Butters. Out to space here for Dan Houston. Evades. And now by foot. With a lovely kick out towards the wing. Finds Mitch Jordiatis. His first touch. Since the ACL recovery. Great to see. Now a kick over the top. Nice one to find Miles Bourbon. As long as the right outcome is achieved, who cares? Still desperately need some high speed cans for goal views. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, ball now trickles out. Mopped up by uh, Redmond. And now set a field out across to Menzi. Low kick here, trying to find Hobbs. Does well. And continues to link in the chain with not a great kick there for Setterfield. Bang, good contact there between Radigalia and Setterfield. And that one goes over. Yeah, no worries there, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good weekend, man. Cordwell now hands out to Merritt. And now Jake Kelly goes by foot towards half forward. Who can win this one on one? Zerk Thatcher did well there. Langford able to break free. Good body work there. Stringer now purse through. He fumbles and trips over. Now Langford. Right foot snap. Kick smothered. Fumble there again from Bergman. Horn Francis grand level. Instantly tackled from Dersma. And chance for Essendon here. Ball up just outside the goal square. No, I'm not IO, mate. Uh, but obviously going to be streaming the Swannies. Marked forward now from Finlayson. Almost the one-handed mark there from Mackay. Good attack on the footy there from McEntee. That's the pressure thing as well, of course. Two goals straight, one goal straight. A bit more accurate than last night's game, which is uh, always a good, nice thing to see as a neutral. Farrow now instantly dispossessed. Set a field, snap around the corner there from Perkins. High ball, drop mark from Radigalea. He gets it back. He's instantly pressured. And now string off hands, snapping kick. And geez, it almost favoured Harry Jones there. I thought that was going to trickle out for a point, but another boundary throw in. Yeah, if I go well, Ryan, mate. Uh, back again. Cheers for another stream. Dream Pies versus Hawks. Uh, I, only, I only do three streams a week, mate. Uh, no, apologies about that. Oh, Draper. Oh, jeez. Kicks like a ruckman. And Bergman taking over. But no, going good, mate. Uh, Ryan, if you go well yourself. Anyway, another forward 50 stoppage here for the Bombers. Setterfield taps it straight to Butters. Ball trickles out. Merritt now extracts it out. Works for Jones. He gives it now to Gresham. Can he kick two? Sure can. Oh, and he gives the Port fans a bit of a shush. Oh, all square again. Two goals for Gresham. Nice snap from the pocket. Very well done there from Zach Merritt, though. How would it? The ball was... Looking like it was going to go for another ball up, but he gets it out. Jones did well because he was 180 degrees behind the goal. Jeez, those, those eyebrows, though. <laughs> those bloody Jay Gresham eyebrows, I tell you. Yeah, no, I could bump it up to five, Ryan, mate. But, you know, it's all, it's all, it's all about the balance. Like, and also, you know, I think I'm doing a few things Sunday, too. But obviously, I'll, I should be home to watch it. But... No, it's a, you know. Bit of it, obviously, a bit of effort goes in the streams and all that, upsetting that up and all that jazz. But of course, I do, I do heavily enjoy it. One Bombers to win off the summer for some reason. A bit of payback from last year, perhaps. Finlayson now doing a bit of time in the ruck. Hit out from Goldstein, but that goes straight to Nick Martin. Now Merritt, that's a great mark and half forward. 
Here it now. Peels off. Plays on. Lowers his eyes inside. 50. Ball alive here for another. Crumb aggression for three. What a chase down from Radigalia. On the ball. Jeez, he's, he's hot at the moment, Jade Gresham. Yeah, no, it's, it's all fine, right, mate? Yeah, no, fair, fair enough for the, you know, the, you know, the, the come on and the encouragement and all that. Oh, 50 metres, that's just poor from centre field. Try to tackle Burn Jones. But it looked like he played on there, um, to be fair, um, Burn Jones. That sort of reminds me of the uh, 27 game, 2017 game against the Crows, where Callum Mills pretty much played on Eddie Betts tackled him, but the umpire gave 50 metres. And then I think Sam Reid goes on to kick the goal. That's when we beat, uh, you know, yeah, Adelaide who are up and about. And that win, I think, put us in the four. Anyway, clearing kick from Dersma. Good mark there from Langford. And in board to Zach Merritt. Hands now. Pick now a set of field out to Heppel. And now Nick Cox. Just a short kick to Kelly. Kelly now on the lead here for Jones. Couldn't take the mark. Nick Martin. Beautifully done, but he kicks that out in the full. Very nice roving, but the kick wasn't great. Anyway, off turn over here. Here comes the Dons. Hobbs just gets the hands out. Good pressure there from Bergman, and he wins it. And he gets the one-two there with Burn Jones. And now kick over the top. It's not a good one. Intercepted from Laverde. And he goes out across to Goldie. Goldstein now. The oldie out in the space. Good kick there for Hobbs. Just stays in. Hopefully going well, Nick. Tip the pair by nine. And Burn Jones, as he always does, applies good heat. Got his hand in there, not allowed the mark. And now Lockie Jones. Kick was nice there to Finlayson. Oh, try to take on Laverde. Just got the kick away. Ball bouncing now for Soldo. He can't get rid of it. And umpire's ball. Almost halfway through this first term, two goals each. You <laughs> throw in. Soto grabs out of the ruck and gets it forward. One on one here between Finlayson and Laverde now. Extracted out. Heppel is dispossessed there. Yeah, it's going to be pushing the back. Dersma's way. Cue the booze. So it's a kid. Yeah. They call those, they don't call those. Short kick to Stringer. Start the season very well, Drake Stringer, and he, he just needs to. If Essendon won any success, like that win last week. Perkins now from the hand pass, goes down the line. Should have been marked there from Zerk Thatcher. Langford now strips it. And he goes inside 50 with a good looking kick for Jake Kelly. So it like Kelly's been, looks like Kelly's playing a bit more forward tonight. Usually a defender. Gives it to Stringer from 50 out. And gets it home. Well, as I just said earlier, he started the season very well, Jake Stringer, and he's kicked a beauty from outside 50. Good start here for the Bombers. Three goals to two goals. Might have been on his range. <clears throat> 
Hi for the game, Wallsy Trump fan. Good to see you. But uh, nicely done there from Stringer. So um, they shouldn't have been able to win a few of these 50-50s and strips off it off Sir Thatcher. Mark on lead from Kelly. Gives the hands off to Stringer and pumps it long from 50 out. Bombers two in a row there back in front. Rosie now off the bench. Gets another hand pass to Drew. Another centre clearance his way. Kick towards half forward. Somehow Mark there from Jordi Artis. Felt like no one really went up for it. Well, can he kick his first goal in quite some time? Probably on the cusp of his range. Package delivered by Stringer Incorporated. 50 bears always Stringer goals. Yeah, that is true, to be honest. It's either that, or it's like, you know, a banana from, like, the wrong side and just sneaks home or something. It's just not a drop punt from close range. Anyway, can Jordi Artis kick his first goal? Since the ACL injury, the kick's on its way. It's coming back. Welcome back, Geordie Artis. And the home supporters and the team will definitely get around him. That's a good moment. Three goals straight, both teams. Yet to see a point. Well, way. All square. In tipping rolls, if you miss a deadline for a tip, do you think uh, you should get a default point? Um, I think usually when you miss a tip, the computer will just randomly tip a team for you or i think it depends on some tipping competitions people might have rules like you know they'll tip it will, the computer will just tip the favorite for you or something but yeah i probably shouldn't say you, you get a point yeah great moment there mitch shorty artist back okay back in the middle now and that's a poor bounce we'll go again okay hopefully go well coasty we'll see joe coast and 901 to play um iron mate very nicely done there from sido now rosie can pump it long deep kick no oh, dixon with the one mitt lovely mark well, I tell you what, Port have just been so effective off centre clearances. This is going to be like their third goal. Because I've gotten... I got the one from Rioli. They got the mark inside 50 there. Just then from Jordi uh, Artis. And now, Dixon misses. Well... And that doesn't even go out. Jesus. That just completely ruined my commentary there. Well, I'll tell you what, though. They have been really good off the centre, centre clearance. Look at that. G'day, Yard. Hopefully going well, mate. Anyway, dispossess there. Dis, um, dispossess there, mate. You'll be pinned. Good tackle from McGrath. I missed the Brisbane deadline. Well, yeah, hopefully still, you know, the computer either still got the Brisbane tip for you. Or if you got a default point, I'm not too sure. Bergman now. Nice hands, Burton. We we'll just want to send a high check sign delivery inside 50 and Marshall. Beautiful mark on the lead. Got to the drop zone much better there than Laverde. And here's a chance now for Marshall to put Port back in front. So we've seen a few lead changes so far. Uh, they might pick up a win. In the next few iron, mate. Toddy Marshall now. Usually a lovely kick for goal. Sneaks home. Four goals straight for Port Adelaide. Well, Essendon kicked the first. Then Port kicked two in a row. Then Essendon kicked two in a row. Now Port have kicked two in a row. Just going back and forth this first quarter. Now no points have yet to be kicked. Indeed it is, AFL legend. Uh, you do, you get seven defaults. Oh, okay, fair enough. So you can only miss a tip then seven times. Now, if you think about it, though, you know, let's say there's a there's a tip you don't want to you don't want to get wrong. What happens if you save your defaults? You can just you know 
pretend to forget your your tip on that website and you'll just get the point right. Nice there from Marshall. Good mark. Chance now for the pair to get a bit of a roll on. Two in a row. But Essendon have been knocking on the door with their opportunities too. Forward they go. Setterfield unable to get a clean possession. Drew did well. Nice hands. And I think he could be pinned there. Yep, he will be. Good tackle there from Gresham. Kane Farrell, the one that's pinned. Who's the most accurate team in an accurate team so far? I'd have to check the numbers probably, but I know obviously Adelaide's definitely been one of the most inaccurate teams. For sure. Um, I mean, they kicked, what, four goals 12 last week, and they were pretty inaccurate again last night. I mean, accuracy is always an inconsistent theme, thing for every team. I think it's just more significant if a team is more in a, more inaccurate than they are accurate, like Adelaide, for example. Anyway, that's gone out of the four there from Gresham. Not the greatest kick. Rosie now, oof, just gets the kick away. What pressure there from Zach Merritt and Martin now. Off the intercept. Good pressure there. Geez, bashing, uh, bashing and crashing of bodies. Bergman now. Breaks the tackle. Butters at ground level. Completely misses it. Martin goes in hard. It's tackles galore at the moment. Mag uh, McGrath's now dispossessed. Who's going to win this one? Rosie now at ground level. He gets the hand pass out. Another smother. Another hack kick. Jeez. It's just... Don't know who has it at the moment. This is back and forth. Now Merritt in control. Lessenden. And on the left boot there. Um, from Heppel now off hands, a right inside 50 from Martin, fumble there, another fumble from Farrell, ball hits the deck, can they get this through Essendon, he's dispossessed also Langford, nothing given there for holding the ball, oof, bloody hell, it was hard, it was hard to keep up with that passage of place, well it, it all started with a great chase down effort there from Merritt, and Caldwell after all of that, he's going to have to come off the blood rule. Ball up here. 450 stoppage opportunity here for the Dons. Kicked out of there by Zerk Thatcher. Falls to Perkins. High ball. And goes through for a point. The first point of the game. Hooray. Well, Dan Houston now. We'll kick it in. Wants to go down the spine here. Off hands, Rosie gets the kick forward. Uh, Perkins, nice hand pass there. Bit of an offload now. Goldstein out to Kelly. Nice, neat measuring ball. Finds Hobbs on the lead. Four forty play till quarter time. Pair by five as Essendon again go inside fifty radically in a good spot. Ball drops towards the ground. Merritt there. And Ali just wants to take it over. Yeah, it feels like it could be count. I mean, both teams have had their fair share of momentum. Pretty even game, must be said. I mean, Port Adelaide have been able to have some nice options inside 50 while Sesson in the last few moments or so. Getting repeated entries. Chance for Merritt. Does he sneak it home? Almost. Oof. It's the point post and boundary throwing. The least should have been pinned for that. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to wanted to carry it over, but yeah, he was under pressure to be fair. Soto's having a good start to this game, but that hit up was not really good. Who's under this one? Butters now. The Energizer buddy gets the big soccer forward. And, oh, good mark there from Ben Mackay. Mackay now. Nick Martin. 
Playing that general role. Nice kick towards half forward. He finds Harry Jones on the lead. Good Essendon find the next goal here. Get another lead change into this game as Jones goes inside 50. They've got the talk timber here. Draper to fly. Radical ease onto this one. He drops it. Ball hits the deck. Langford trying to find space. But he's instantly tackled by Willem Drew. Oh no, he's pinfolding the ball. Wasn't expecting that. Drew now. Shorts to Connor Rosie. Yeah, no worries, Iron, mate. Take care. Have a good good weekend, mate. And best of luck to your bombers, mate. Want to switch it out the other side here, Port Adelaide. Radical Leah. And that's got to be Panama for Jordi Artis. Three to Gold's team. 2.45 to play. Goes hands now to Redman, the Red Dog. Kicks towards the wing. That's a nice delivery to Sam Draper. Field kicking's looking good, Essendon, so far this first term. And now he wants to set it up. Who are the flies? Soldo in a good spot. And, oh, jeez, he shouldn't have dropped that one. Boke now. Quick hands to Butters. He fumbles. The hand pass wasn't great to Butters, to be fair. And now whacked out of there from Burton. Kick's not a good one. Now it's starting to lock it in now, Essendon. Good intercept there from Redman. Now Gresham. Almost stringer. And he's throwing again. Last to touch the ball. Ball goes out. Turnover and all for it. Well, they actually do that in the sand for where the last person that has a clear kick and rolls out of bounds will be the opposition's ball. I don't know. Feels like it's just like a big change to the game. I don't know if I'm a fan of it personally. But is back to Radical Lee. Wax out of there. Spore came there from uh, Redmond. Willem Drew dispossessed. Who's under this one? McGrath. Nice hands to Nick Cox. Wobbly ball inside 50. Could they find something here? Maybe at the back for Draper, the soccer. Oh, he's hit the post. Jeez, that would have been a clever goal there from Draper. But unfortunately, the woodwork, not his friend. Three goals, two now for Essendon. They're starting to lock it in a bit more in their forward half. One thirty-seven to play. So about 90 seconds till the quarter time break. Houston wants to whack it long. Nice mark there from Finlayson. Not 15 for Butters. Oh, Finlayson. Can't be fumbling there. Parrish, though, did well. Hobbs now. Merritt. Hands to Gresham. Another fumble. Just keeps it alive with hand passing it forward. Stringer now. Good pick up. Just gets the hands out. Merritt now a chance. Snapping ball. Round the corner. Misses again. Oh, he had a bit of time there, Merritt. He's had the chance to kick two goals his first turn. Houston now. We'll just whack it out of there with another kick in. Ball hits the deck. Willie Rioli. Doesn't know where to go. And now goes out to Bergman. Good kick finds Zach Butters. Quick hands in boards. Nice to Rioli. He wants to continue to run and gun down the line. Good marsh there. Mark there from Marshall. Who's he got on board now, Toddy? And he hits the lead very nicely. Finlayson. Good movement there from the pair. Not a fan of rule change in general, but there's been too many too soon. Yeah, no, fair enough, Cow. But yeah, it feels like every year there's now rule changes. Got a chance now for Port Adelaide to increase their margin with a kick after the siren here. Well, pretty much the siren will sound after he's kicked it. Finlayson, the right side for a left footer here. Does it curve back? No, it's not even going to make the distance nor the accuracy. Oh, almost there, Dixon. And there's the first term. Port by three points a quarter time, and it's been a really even game. It's just been back and forth. No team's really, I'd say, 
owning really many areas, to be honest. It just feels like both teams have had, you know, their fair shares of forward half territory. I mean, Essendon have been able to lock it in side their forward half for the last few minutes or so. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I think the difference, though, with Port is they've probably been a little bit neater going inside 50. Plus five inside 50s for Essendon, but Port have been able to produce four to one marks inside 50. And the clearances, clearance game, Port Adelaide winning that one by one. Five to three centered clearances, nine to eight stoppage clearances, Essendon's way. Plus one contest possessions also in Essendon's favor. Um, and 19 to 14 turnovers, Port Adelaide's way. So yeah, pretty even start from both sides. Essendon bringing the heat. Port looking good inside 52. We'll have a look at the stats though at quarter time. All oh, disposal get is feels like I've been saying this guy's name a lot of times. Connor Rosie. 13 touches, a goal, two marks, three clearances. He's had a fantastic first quarter. And he's also leading the ground for Meters game with 211. Dan Houston is second. He's got six touches. Um, the only multiple goal scorer, of course, Jake Gresham with two. Tackles leader, three for Setterfield. Contest possession, six for Rosie, five for Willem Drew. Intercept possessions led by Nick Martin with three. Score involvements, three to, to Merritt, who's also had a fine first term too, and also Jay Gresham. Inside 50s, two to Bergman, Drew, Gresham, Kelly, Martin, Merritt, and Rosie. And Merritt also with 12 disposals. So both gun mids for both sides. Having a really good start. Hopefully going well with VPS. Welcome, mate. Yeah, really even start. Um, yeah, Port probably a little bit better with their ball movement. But Essen around the ground have been hitting their targets. Just inside 50, though, I think. Yeah, Port have had the difference, given they have kicked four goals straight. Pretty good game so far, says Lockie, heading off to the pub for a party. Oh, enjoy, mate. Probably going to get wasted watching the game there. Ah, oh, fair enough, mate. Well, try not to drink too much, but enjoy your time, mate. <clears throat> What's your favourite gather around jersey, Riles Macca? Um, favourite gather, gather around jersey? Well, not really many teams change their guernseys for gather around. I mean, obviously, West Coast have. have gone the retro 90s uh, kit. For tomorrow's game against us, that should that should look good. I'd say that's maybe my favourite. Don't really know. Yeah, no, fair enough, Lockie, mate. Uh, Mitch Shorty artist obviously had parents with a sense of humour, a bit like a man of mine named Stavros Wilson. Yeah, it's been good tonight. Kicked the uh, kicked his first in quite some time. Western Australian boy, I'm pretty sure. Shorty artist. But yeah, they do have an exciting crop forward to centre, though. I mean, Finlayson, Dixon's still very valuable to them, and now Jordi Artis thrown through there, too. Right, well, um, probably around two minutes or so till the second term. But yeah, the centre clearance work, as I say, again, was very good from Essendon. I mean, from Port Adelaide, sorry. Start with Fulham Drew, King Darf Hoard and Willie Rioli gulling off it.
Going into games this season, we're all a sports nut. Uh, potentially, mate, maybe later down the track. Wouldn't mind heading to a Swannies one. Might even just... Might even just, <laughs> to be honest, just head to one of the Giants games in Canberra. Why not? I think they play the Saints there soon. Yeah, three goals from stoppage. Well, there you go. Those are the three goals pretty much from the setting clearance. One off turnover. Two goals, two off turnover for Essendon, and they've got one goal off stoppage. <sighs> off the go, well, Speedy. Welcome, mate. Yeah, I think we're set for a close game. We're playing Saints and Canberra next week. Yeah, there you go. I knew it was a, a game that's somewhere soon. Three goals, three to four goals. Straight plays back into positions now, ready for the second term. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, lads. Always heavily appreciated. Oh, it's going away. For the second term. How was this? Is good in Adelaide first quarter not surprising? Yeah, no, the Dons are good in, good in Adelaide, of course. They played well there last year, too. And anyway, Horn Francis will get the first clearance of the second term. Kick towards half forward. Well done from Rioli. Wins it. And now he goes towards the pocket. Not a good kick drop from Laverde. Mackay back to Laverde. Heppel now. Wants to try and keep this one in. Wants to go corridor. That's a risky kick for Martin. And Oh, good tackle from Butters. Lucky not to be holding the ball. <clears throat> and now Rioli easily tackled ball up. Be off it's a close one, Lucinda, mate, as you as you do say. Jackson Mead now from the head out. Now Burn Jones, he can find the goals. Lovely kick. First of the second term going Port's way. And they bring it out to nine points. Five goals straight for Port Adelaide. That's been good. I'll give you a line for Swans lose. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> well, we can... You can start. You might as well like it now, because we'll probably choke now. I might be joking. <clears throat> well, I tell you what, Burn Jones has been able to find the goals quite well. Um, early on this season. Feels like he's been kicking a goal every game. Burn Jones, Golds, yeah, beauty. Back in the middle we go. String under this one in the centre bounce. He's dispossessed. Ball trickles out. Mead instantly tackle. Good tackle there from Parrish. Or Parrish. Horn Francis now. Good evasion skills there, but the hand pass wasn't great for Mead. Now Drew spins his way out of trouble. Horn Francis out to Butters. Hands were nice there to Travis Bone. Good smother there from Cordwell. Merritt now. Gives the hands back. Not really the greatest set of hands there for Perkins. McIntyre, Boke. Handball chains continue here. Who can win out of this one? Martin. Good vision out across to Redmond. And now Goldstein. The old man kicks on a good one. Good intercept there from Radigalia. Half of the goal well, Kai. Essendon can attack well, uh, but they can't defend themselves. To, can't, can't defend to save themselves. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously their biggest uh, issue, probably, I'd say. Especially uh, defending that transition. But usually, like, in the air, they've been okay. You know, Ben McKay thought had a good game last week. Dersman now hands across to Caldwell. 
Goes by foot in the corridor. Perkins, that's a good leap and should have been probably part of Mark, I'd say. But he wants to continue the go in the corridor here. Kick couldn't find Merritt. Who wins this one? Nice slap there from Zach. And now Perkins gets it off. A hand pass from Parrish. And he goes inside 50 in the space for Hobbs. Couldn't take the mark. And I felt Houston was unlucky there. Looks like it we he got um it was a front on contact free, but they play advantage. And Menzi marks inside 50. Good there from Stringer though. Good vision. Good vision. Quick kick and finds the South Australian. Another one of these natives playing in gather round. Menzi now chance to get this game back to three points if he can kick truly. Kicks on its way and hits the woodwork. That's two po posters now for the Dons. Three goals, four. Whilst Port Adelaide yet to kick a point. Got to be converting those chances if you are, of course, a small forward, but no good there. Butters now marks from the kick in. Wants to go to corridor here. That's good use. Finds Soldo. Out across to the Hornet. And there goes by foot out across. Lovely kick there for Boak. It looked like he wanted to play on there, but knew, knew he was going to get tackled, so he held things up. And now he goes inside 50 towards the pocket. Works nicely there for Finlayson. Good stuff from the kick in there from Port. And now snap round the corner. That nah, should have taken his time. He's hit the belly. He's done a wall. Haywood. He's done a Will Haywood. And now Heppel. Deep kick out wide to Parrish. Starting to get his hands on it now. We'll now go down the line. Good kick there. We'll find Langford. Langford now will... Going towards the corridor, but that's just a poor kick. Zach Butters picks it off. Now, well, a lot of super coach and fantasy people alongside LA fans, and like my tweet about our crouches um, entering the midfield for LA has made it too samesy. Well, no, your point's fair enough, Kai. I think, look, when actually watching Crouch, he's actually playing his role well, but he's just in the wrong midfield setup. Last year, for example, I was really keen on him. If he would come to the Swans, but he re-signed for, for Adelaide. I'm like, ah, oh, bugger. I thought he, you know, him and our midfield would be very good, I think. Because we've got those X-Factor plays, you know, those line breakers like Heaney and, and Chad and even Errol when he throws, in, throws himself in there. Butters, off the bench he comes. Archie Perkins now. And converts. There we go. Eston finally get a go after a few points. Back to two. On Hayward, if he's a sacrifice, he was to give us in the first compensation. Would you be all right with that? Um, oh, I'd, I'd love to keep Hayward, to be honest, mate. I think he's still quite important to us. He does have his consistency issues, but we'll see how the rest of this season plays out. But yeah, I would like to keep him, of course. Good goal there from Perkins. Gets the game back two points. But yeah, just really a poor turnover there from Butters. And he picked off there from Martin. And yeah, really lovely kick. He just really picked apart the target. Part of the seas, as Dwayne Russell says. With that kick inside 50. Back in the middle we go. Perkins now. Gets the hands out to the big boy, Draper. And he's just forced a poor kick there. Good pressure there from Rosie. Kick, kick in the corridor now. Who wins this one? Nick Cox. Chance now off hands. Rosie. He can find the goals. Connor Rosie. Oh, he's a class footballer. Connor Rosie. He's kicked his second. Jeez, he's putting together a really good game. Six goals straight for Pear. Bloody hell. How about this? Also interesting because our midfield of Adams and Rowbottom could be a little samesy, but I think Haney, Warner, and Gordon. Yeah, no, nah, we, we need we need ball winners, Kai. I think that's the most important thing when you look at our midfield. Um, and you know, I've been hearing Adams could also be playing a little bit of forward, according to John Longmire. So, yeah, he he offers versatility. 
I mean, look at and, and like you know, I mid from from last week, for example. Like we did struggle to win contested ball consistently throughout the game, and I still think ultimately our midfield needs to improve still. So I'm really keen to see how Adams goes. I mean, yes, it's it's against West Coast, so it might not be the greatest test, but um, you know, I think it'll be important for us this season. Soldo grabs out of the ruck. Horn Francis now. Burton goes by foot. Wobbly ball. Uh, into no one in particular. Dersma will get this one first. He gives in board to Langford. Back to Dersma. Hands were not good at all. And now Geordie Artis. Finlayson. Who's he going to give it to? Who in the world was that to? Bloody hell. Should have just given the hands. Good pressure though. Horn Francis. Taking in the strong Jake Kelly tackle. Umpire's ball. Do not know what that was from Finlayson. That's, they had, he had Horn Francis and Rosie on the run. He should have just given the quick hands. Horn Francis now hands. Beautiful stuff here. Jackson May just gets it out. Oh, no, he'll be pinned for that. Just couldn't get the full motion of the hand pass out and holding the ball. Good tackle from Perkins, who's starting to get into the game a little bit more. The young midfielder. Mason Redmond now in the pink boots, sent across the brew to Merritt, but well done there from Farrell. Look at that. What is he doing, Finlayson? Oh, he had options galore. Yeah, sure is, Nick, mate. Eight point margin. Thirteen twenty-two to play. Man, I also want to see just see McLaren's number one option on the team. Yeah, no, when when he when he's on, he's just such a smooth moving midfielder. He was good today, but then he can have games where he just goes missing a little bit. He's a bit of just that hot and cold sort of player. Hands from Jones. Just instantly put Farrell under the pump there. Umpire's ball. Well, Todd Marshall just in the hands of physios at the moment. Hopefully he's all okay. Soto's been going well in the headouts tonight. Now Parrish. A bit of a fumble. He just gets the hands out. Butters. Oh, that's going to be a high tackle. Kingsley wants a 12-year extension to his contract. Now, if he wins a flag, that's probably fair enough. <laughs> 12 years. Played a lot, though. Inside 50. Oh, Draper almost. Really could have taken the mark. Houston now. Dispossessed. Is he pin for on the ball? Ooh. Pretty lucky. Boke now. Lear will just whack it out of the fence. High ball towards next contest. Redmond under this one. Good stuff there from McEntee. Martin off hands. Now Kelly. Can't afford the fumble there. Great pressure from Boak. In board now. Missed the hand pass. Barozzi will go again after this one. Now Martin. Gets the hands. Merritt a quick kick. Centering ball here. Not a good kick though for Jones. Doesn't really favour him. But the ball hits the deck. That's well done from Jones. Competed well. Alir Alir now. Out of there. And that's a good kick. Finds Dixon. Good corridor option. Jackson Mead. And now to Rosie. Hands to Houston. In good uses here as he goes inside 50. Chance for Rioli. Good body work. Could spill out the back here for Finlayson. Does he have the legs on Laverda? He does. It rolls home. All clear. Two in a row for Port. Seven goals straight. How about this? They have really brought their shooting boots tonight. Seven straight. Where are we? Nice stuff end to end there again from Port Adelaide, and that's probably also been the difference. They've been able to move the ball from their D50 really well. 
And that's the issue that Essen do obviously have. You can catch them off the transition. Oh yeah, that was that was pretty much too easy. Let's be honest, it was Rioli at the back. Easy stuff. Did well. That's what small forwards do well. Just use their body to protect the drop zone. Anyway, Rosie now. Another disposal. Jeez, he's been on absolute absolute fire. He goes inside 50. Who's the flies here? Trickles out the back again. Martin's there, though, to rush it through. First point for Port Adelaide, but it's a rush behind. Port have actually yet to kick inaccurately uh, behind, so it still could be technically seven goals straight for points they've kicked. Yeah, they do need the next sports nut. Nice slow kick there from Martin. He finds Dyson Heppel. Heppel now will play on and go down the line. Who are the flies here? Houston. Couldn't get there for the mark, but that kick works. Very nice there, Rioli. Who's Egon on board here? Low kick, not a good one. Laverde in front. And it was holding free Laverde's way anyway. Did you change your bed covers? Uh, yeah, I did. Pretty good. Yeah, the, the, the shades of blue. I don't know, that was a bit chic. Pretty good. I should, I should get a... I should actually try... I should buy some Sydney Swans bed sheets. That would be good. Or almost like Keeney ones. Oh, oh, what a player. I tell you what, though. If, if Gordon doesn't have, like, the season we all expect him to have, but Heaney goes off... You can almost have like the you know the Toy Story meme where like uh, the guy's like, I don't want to play with you anymore. That's like me to <laughs> to that's like every every Swans fan to Gildan, and now it's like they want to play with Heaney, the Heenster. Shiano, we're playing today. Why not after work today as well? No, if I, that no good comments, mate. But hey, no, appreciate you coming in the stream, mate. Hopefully you're going well. Tipped us against. Tipped against us by three for some stupid reason. Eh, fair enough. I mean, there's probably a lot of... There's probably a bit of pessimism, which is fair enough for Port Adelaide supporters. Obviously losing last week, but looking good so far. On Francis now, just a high ball. Brought the ground nicely there from Cox, but McEntee, Johnny on the spot. McEntee now back to Horn Francis. Now to Burton. He goes by foot inside. 50 on the lead. Good footy. And Jordi Arnis again, chance to kick another goal in his comeback game. I just was upset the close loss. I didn't even play bad. Yeah, no, fair enough, mate. And that's how I saw the game last week too for Port Adelaide. I mean, a lot of inside 50s. They just got caught. You know, the back of stoppages and, and, you know, I just think Mel will have to move the footy really well. I mean, Geordie Artis hits the woodwork. Another poster we've seen tonight. That's seven goals too for Port Adelaide. McGrath now will... Yeah, that's an interesting kick. We'll cut the angles. It works for Dersma though. Dersma a short kick to Nick Martin. And now across to Laverde. Back to Martin. And kick will work well enough for Nick Cox. Not once I've looked at the ladder yet this year, says Cow. Yeah, there's not really much point to look at it because it's still very early days. Usually like five rounds in or so, you can now start to take a bit of a look at it. High ball now. Houston, jeez, he flew there with the spoil. Now hands now for Boak. Oh, can't be fumbling there. That could have been out. Gets the offline hand pass, but good pressure. And Martin just gets a little squibby kick away. Willem Drew, his hands, no good. Now Kelly whacks it forward. Under this one is Lockie Jones, but touch ball, so he's instantly pressured. Good tackle there from Gresham. Oh, but it's dangerous. He's sort of gotten him in a little bit of that slinging motion.
Gives hands now to Burton. Towards center half forward. That's a nice mark there against Mackay from Dixon. Wants to hit the low kick, but not really hitting the target. But tell you what, really, Rowley found himself in some space. Willem Drew now. Can he get this ball? He can't. Dersma. Hands to Parrish. Not really the greatest set of hands for Setterfield. And Jordi Artis will be taking the Setterfield tackle. Changed my tip last minute again, Tyson. What the fuck's wrong with me? Oh. Well, that's changing tips for you, AFL legend. Can hurt you sometimes. Finn Layson, kick was smothered. McGrath gets it out of there. And it works. The Jonesy. You didn't? Oh, okay, good stuff. Yeah, if they do get up tonight, Port Adelaide looking like we're going to go three and three. Hooray. And probably we'll all come crashing down tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, long kick down the line. Nice mark there from Jones. It's about this kick inside 50. Who can they find? Flipping tips really works. Yeah, it's a, it's a bad habit to get into. Low kick, no, no good there for um, Langford as Houston intercepts. Houston now. We'll go down the line. Nice mark from Burn Jones. Hands to Horn Francis now. Who's he got on, sh on board? He's going to go over the top. Try and measure this kick to Rosie. Does he keep it in? He does. Very nicely done. Oh, and he's milked the free. Oh, I'll tell you what, he did this last week. He sort of milked the free, to be fair, for the dangerous tackle, and he's done it there again. Last year, Port won 13 in a row, I think, until they faced Rampaging Blues. Yeah, that was a great win from the Blue from the blue Baggers. Yeah, they were. That was, they won by like 40 points, if I remember that. That's when they really got going. Well, can Colonel Rosie kick three goals in the first half? He's on, yeah, he, he's kicked two. This will be something from the midfielder. Can he slot this home? Kicks on its way. And it's across the face. Unlucky. So the goal's three now. And Travis Boak is in no good at the moment. Looks like, yeah, I think he caught the big bump um, in, in the coal face a few moments ago. So he's just... On the bench at the moment. That's a good kick from Mead. Should hit Rioli on the lead. Almost. Just couldn't get there in time. Drop the mark. Perkins now. Got to get rid of it. He does. Set a field. Quick kick. Houston did well to nullify Hobbs. But they get it out here, Essendon. But then they can't get an effective disposal. And high tackle. Hopefully going well, Eric. Welcome back, mate. Good to see you in the stream. Um, just dropping in and, in and out tonight. Check up on the score. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Looks like Paul kicking away. Tip the Bombers. Yeah, this game could really have another, you know, multiple layers because there's been a, there was a few lead changes in the first term. Uh, it was back and forth, but Port, I just think with their kicking, have really uh, and their ball movement too, have really been able to break free a little bit with this with this game. And obviously their, their straight kicking's been good too. But they've kicked a few points in a row now, so not as accurate. The last five minutes or so. On Francis now. Ooh, did they take him on? Nothing there. And now Hobbs is pinned for on the ball because he dragged it in. Well, there you go. Have the game, Old Coast Club. Welcome, mate. Long down the corridor now. Drop mark there from Finlayson. Butters now. Hands were nice. Good tackle there from Merritt. And holding the ball. That's good stuff from the Essendon skipper. He wants to quickly play on. He goes towards the pocket. Oh, and Francis playing the defensive role. That's a nice intercept mark. And he goes short. To, again, Connor Rosie. He's had a ball in the string in this first half. And now down the line from uh, Lockie Jones. The man with the mullet. Merritt under this one. Butters applies the heat. And he's going to win a free. Corridor kicks a risky one. But it 
Works well enough for Setterfield, but they need to get it out cleanly here. Perkins did well, ground level now. Parrish. Kick, a bit of a squiffy one, but no, oh, not bounced. Didn't favour Langford there. He's got to go here, Zerk Thatcher. He did really well with the double fister, and he commits here. But Kelly did well, Langford now. And across to Perkins. They'll carry that one over. Feels like Archie Perkins has been really big this quarter. Houston now. Rosie. Look at that. Just twisting and turning. And turns it over. Oh, well, the effort was nice. Good effort. I count by P. Willie. I'm going to assume you mean Willie Rioli. But yeah, he should, he should have. I thought he was going to take that mark, to be fair. And anyway, hands here from Essendon. Now McGrath goes inside 50. Who can he find? Good sport there from Houston. He's under this one. Nice composure. Hands out to Jackson Mead. Snappy kick around the corner. Only as far as Heppel. He gives the quick hands to, again, Zach Merritt. He's been having a great game as well, Zach Merritt. He also has a bit of leather poisoning. And now a deep kick from Harry Jones. Not really many targets, but, oh, sold. I should have marked that footy. And now it's opened up here as a chance for Essendon, but the pair looking like they've gotten this one out through Bergman, and they have. Dixon, really well done. Strong mark, one-on-one -on -one against Mackay. And Bogues going down to the rooms. That's not a good sight to see. To report, man. And now Dixon will just go back to Burton. And now he'll drive it long. Good spore from Cox, but spills out the back here potentially for McEntee. How can he pick this one up? The Grand Pursuit. Just gets the tackle, uh, hand pass out, and now a centering ball. High one from Marshall. Can, oh, almost Jordi Artis. Just flew up a bit early. Nice crumbing there from Rioli. And goals. But the umpire just wants to double check. Well, again, movement end-to-end -end from Port Adelaide. It's been hurting the Bobbers in this second term quite a lot too. Going to have to see the snicker on this one. Nothing on edge, so it's going to be going to Rioli. Few in a row now for, uh, for the pair. I mean, that's what, three or four goals in a row? This end, uh, Adelaide Oval is famous for goalpost controversy. Yes, it sure is. And also Josh Jenkins' goal in the showdown all those years ago too. And it was, I'm pretty sure it was down that end as well. So yeah, it all happens down at the, at the hill. As they call it, I'm pretty sure the locals... Really, Oli, though, he's kicked his second. Another goal review, though. But, yeah, I mean, that's just poorly done, though. I mean, Apple brought that to ground, but, you know, Kelly trips over. The defence is, is hurting them a little bit in this second term. You know, Mackay's been outmarked a couple of times now in the air. And they're just getting killed in transition. This has been the difference in this second term. And now Kane Farrell, another centre clearance here for Port Adelaide as they again go inside 50. Ball hits the deck. Who gets there first? Connor Rosie, that man again. Don't tell me for a third. Don't tell me for a third, Connor Rosie. What a half of football he is having. Wow. I mean, I tell you what, this is this is this is a first half for the ages. Twenty touches, three marks, three goals, one, nine contested possessions, four clearances. What is in the water? What what, what was in what was in Rosie's? I tell you what, what, what was in Rosie's porridge this morning? 
sprinkling in a few performance enhancers or something. He's just on fire. One to way again. In the middle. Right, right. Inside 50. Another chance here for the pair. They're just on fire. That man again is in the thick of it. Stringer now. Just got the hands out. Butters maybe attacking this one. Now McGrath. Marshall. And Martin under this one. Martin now to McGrath. A low kick. And not a great kick there from McAtee. Ball hits the deck. Slap forward now. Here's a chance for Finlayson. Left foot snap. Oh, Port are just on fire. Goal after the siren as well. What a second term from the pair. Just scoring prowess. Moving the footy end to end. It's been a complete second quarter from Port Adelaide. 10 goals, 3, 63 to 4 goals, 4, 28. They've really broken this game wide open. It was looking even in the first term. And now have a look at it. Yeah, just on fire. So they have kicked. It was a six goal three to one goal one quarter. Just dominance really now. And they kicked three goals too. Um, in like the last three minutes. Rosie on track for 40 and six. Yeah, bloody hell. He's having himself a half of the ages. We'll get to the play stats soon, but... I mean, this is the issue for Essen. Um, their, their ultimate issue is defending transition. I think just defensively tonight, they haven't been too great in the air. Like, you know, they've when the ball's hit the deck, they've struggled a little bit. Um, you know, those port smalls have really got to work. And the big one, though, is how port have been able to move the footy. They've gotten a few goals now from just moving the footy from their defensive 50 end to end and goaling off it. And now, including, you know, they've obviously got their goals... Um, you know, a few from the centre bounce too in the first quarter. It's just been a complete half from Port Adelaide. They're getting it done through stoppage and also through ball movement. So, yeah, they certainly deserve a better six-goal lead. Um, and as we have a look at the team stats, they're winning the clearances by four. Port Adelaide, six plus six centre clearances as well going Port Adelaide's way. And they're winning the inside 50 count by two. But, geez, they're a lot more efficient tonight. They were not efficient at all last week. But I think when you look at Port Adelaide on paper, they just have so much dangerous weapons in their forward 50, so they are really gelling well. I mean, even when we look at the goal kickers, so Rosie's got three. Finlayson just kicked his second. Jordi Artis with one. He could have had that other one, though. Willie Rowley, two. Marshall, one. Burn Jones always has a goal or two a game, you'd feel, with his pressure he applies. So, yeah, it's just been um, really all Port Adelaide. It was really all Port Adelaide in the, um, in the second term. Um, and then contest possessions plus 10 Port Adelaide's way Essendon are actually dominating Port Adelaide in uncontested possessions um, but yeah they've not really been able to move the footy as well as they were in the first term so yeah only one goal one to show for it in the second quarter so not good stuff from them um, yeah it's just a free flowing second term from Port Adelaide um Edges and potent. Essendon aren't a joke. They're okay. Yeah, I mean, this is this has just been a fantastic second term from Port Adelaide. It must be said. I mean, yeah, Essendon have been poor. Yeah, well, pretty 
you know, they've really fallen flat. Um, but geez, you know, midfielders, defenders, they're moving the ball really well. I think it's just been a really good second term from Port Adelaide. Um, yeah, that's a stunner. I hate we don't contest much as nearly as much as other teams. Um, Essendon win it here from here, says G Wilkes. Yeah, well, you know, they've been able to keep themselves in games from what we've seen so far this year, so we'll see. Can, could they go another gear in, in the third quarter? But anyways, let's have a look at the stats at halftime. Well, we've got to talk about this man, Connor Rosie. I mean, what a half of footy he's at. 20 touches, three goals, one. Three marks, two tackles, four clearances, seven score involvements, and an intercept possession. Nine contest possessions, four inside 50s. He just has the ball on a string in this second half, on, 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 in this first half. So, yeah, he's probably been the best player out on ground. Nick Martin, as per usual, with that role he plays. The general, he's been racking up the football, 20 touches. Zach Merritt also um, with 19. Oh, no, hold up. It's just updated. Nick Martin got a disposal added from Champion Data. He's now leading it with 21. Zach Merritt, 19. Horn Francis, 16. Um, score involvements leader of course Rosie with 7 also in, led in the inside 50s is Rosie with 4 uh, contested possession leader Willem Drew with 10 started the game off well 8 intercept possessions for Nick Martin and 6 for Dan Houston Yeah, great, great second quarter from Port Adelaide. They've really opened this game up a wee bit, just with the class of their overall plays across the ground. Uh, much better tackling by Port in that second term. No, I'm just a dirty, feral Port fan. Uh, try to have a brain. I've lost some teeth, though. Deezer Williams had 38 possessions playing for Victoria one day. Only played the second half. Yeah, wow. Went off. By the sounds of it. Zach Merritt better than Connor Rosie? Yeah, I'd probably say he is. But, you know, Rosie's a special player too and he's, he's putting it on show. I mean, yeah, Merritt's been very good too. He's had 19 and four marks. Four clearances out of those contested. Now, anyways, I'm going to go take a, take a whiz and fill up my water bottle and then, yeah, we'll come back and... Uh, Get into the usual halftime festivities, as we always like to do. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. But yeah, good second term from Port Adelaide. Hopefully the third term can get a bit closer, though, as a, as a neutral supporter. But uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. All right, gents, we'll kick off. On the Daily Warp, we've just got an apple, by the way. All right, who we got here? Um, Andy Finn McGuinness. Not him. Victorian team, though. Um, Mera has always been the Bombers' best, best place so far. Having the G V on your jump is a bit dumb, don't you think? Nah, it's probably just tradition. Oh, Kai Mori, thanks very much, mate. Gifted five subs. Really appreciate your, your kind generosity, mate. Really, thanks very much. And we always love um, 
You know, people that go out of the way to, to do nice things like that. So, yeah, really appreciate it, Kite. So, who was the lucky people? Lucinda, AFL Time, Nick Pearl, Winston, and Renegade. Congratulations. You win amazing perks such as... I'm trying to think. Um, oh, yes, the, uh, the emojis. Uh, you got the you got the you got the Papley one. That's a beauty. So you know when Papley goes on a roll tomorrow, make sure to spam the Papley emojis in the chat. I think that's. I tell you what, I've actually got I've just, I actually got a bloody update those emo emojis. It's probably a bit poor on my end. Uh, but now, thanks very much again, Kite. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's not beginners. Sis, his partner is spitting chips that we're doing well. Um, he's currently salty about a couple of weeks ago. Is he is he, is he an Essendon supporter or something? Was he not happy that we got the win over him? Oh, yes. Very nice, Nick. Get around the pap, sir. The pap smear. He's a Richmond fan. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, fair enough then. Yeah, because obviously I uh, got the job done over your, you boys. I oh, know you you got the job done over them. Um, okay, so Victorian player, so brown and gold. It's from a Victorian team. Who else is brown or gold? I mean, could it be yellow? Could it be maybe Richmond because it's like yellow? Oh, that's Grimes actually. When I think about it, yeah, there we go. Dylan Grimes, second guess, not bad. Yeah, going good. Thanks, cool boy. Have to go well yourself, mate. I'd uh, rather have Merritt over Rosie. Never gives up. Yeah, fair enough, mate. I'd, I'd say Mer Merritt's in his prime, whilst Rosie probably is, but he's what, 20, 24, 23. Both good players, though. Okay. Second guess, not bad. Um... Do the daily, daily uh, gridly too. Portra revert to their sample jumper with Till Barnes. Eddie the ego would spew. I reckon says Chris. Yeah, probably would, mate. That was pretty funny when um, they got on the uh, the prison bar Guernseys to, to sing the song the other year ago. I think it was either Eddie McGuire was hosting this the game on Fox Footy or he's like on Footy Classified. He was just <laughs> it was just having a good fashion, good old fashioned melt. So. Yeah, it's always a bit of controversy, that stuff. I mean, I don't really care, to be honest. If Port want to show their tradition, so be it. Um, but people think otherwise. Durs my teammate that plays for Port Adelaide. Um, go Pittard. Huh? Oh, did he move to... I thought, he, I thought that was right. Um, we'll go Sam Mays. There we go. 0 0.7. Not bad. I don't think about it. Bonner's midfield right. Keep stuffing up placements. Oh, you see, are you... Do you think uh, Butters is better than uh, Merritt Cammers? Fair enough if you do. I mean, they're both great players. I don't have Merritt above Rosie. But, you know, I mean, Rosie the last two years has been out of this world. He's gotten two All-Australians, and I think he got a best and fairest, 2022. Yeah, Port and Zerk Thatcher team, mate. Um... Try and go for like a... Well, there's not really many... Francis Evans. 3%. Yeah, there's not really many options because he only joined this year and there's only been three games. Yeah, Jackson Mead. Yeah, there probably would have been around that percentage. I think of the Taz Jumper, even though they are... Um, not locked into after the election. Yeah, I think it's good. Like, you know, 
the beauty I think about the Tassie Devils is they're sort of blending tradition and also like you know modern things like you know the 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 logo they've got nice graphic design uh, and then also they're showing tradition with the the, the big T on the Guernsey. Butters over merit? Uh, nah, I'd, I'd I'd have a, I'd have merit above both probably as like complete players. Um, yeah, Merritt on his day is one of the best players in the comp. But like you know, I'd probably say last year Butters and Rosie probably had the better seasons than Merritt, but still the complete player I'd probably say Merritt because yeah, he's just such a consistent player. Average five marks a season for Port Adelaide. Um, oh, a lot of options here. I go. Ooh. Oh, and Kai's gifted five subs again. Thanks very much, mate. Um, appreciate uh, your, your kind generosity. Uh, we'll go Jay Schultz. Five percent. Not bad. No, get around, Kai. Ten gifted subs. Thanks very much, mate. Oh, Speedy, mate. You should have joined back a bit earlier. You missed out on your chance to get a gifted sub from generous old Kai. Well, uh, congrats to all those lads getting the, getting the subs. Guys, okay, so there's my teammate for Essendon. Um... Probably someone from this year, to be honest, would just have to go with. Um, the thing is, I'm worried. Would I Would I want to go with, like, you know, a player that's yet to play? I think they've had to play the game for it to count as a Dersma teammate. So I can't put someone like, you know, LeMay and Luau or something like that. It needs to be someone that's played a game, I think. So I'll just go Elijah Sardis. Four percent. Um, Essendon and Zerk Thatcher teammate. Um, okay. When did Zerk Thatcher play? Twenty eighteen. Um, go Tommy Bell Chambers. One percent, not bad there. That, that's not a bad guess. You'd feel like he... Um, oh, Tom Jock. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Well, I went with another Ruckman of Bell Chambers. Uh, average five marks a season for Essendon. Um, Five marks a season. Hurley, yeah, I was thinking Hurley. He probably would as a defender. Probably a bit of a popular one, I'd say. Ah, two percent. Thought it'd be a bit higher. There's my teammate, multi-club player. Okay, well this is um, oh Jesus, there's options galore for this one. Could go with the Port Adelaide or Essendon player. Hmm. I'll go Devin Smith. Hey. Oh wait. Oh, I should. Oh, hold up. I got. I got them mixed up. I got it mixed up. I thought I was gonna go with an Essendon player, but Rose no. Dersma played for Dersma's new club's Essendon. I should have gone for an older player. So let's go Jasper Pittard. Oh, that should be correct as well, but for some reason it isn't. Okay, never mind. Maybe, no, I think Pittard, Pittard last played for North, I think, so that's probably why. Bloody hell, I've just completely stuffed this one up. Um, 
not thinking it through. Anyway, plays are back out on the ground. Multi-club player. Zerk Thatcher. Okay, we'll go we'll go Devin Smith for this one. Four percent, not even that good. Okay, uh, not the greatest one. Um, when are we? When are we back for the second half? Fifty seconds. Well, there we go. Right out. So yeah, bit of a bit of a blowout that second term. It was six goals to one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're really short. We really saw though Port Adelaide's strengths of just their free flowing ability, and they've been really accurate tonight too. And the centre clearance work's been great as well. The midfield has been getting plenty of it. Right, I'm getting home time for the third quarter. Beautiful stuff, cameras. I'll have to see it. So, let's get into the second half, shall we? So, 10 goals, 363, 4 goals, 428. 35 point margin at half time. After it was, what, like a 4 point margin at quarter time? It's really opened up now. So, Eston in that second half, they were able to get on top um, of St Kilda. So, could we see something against Port Adelaide? And we're underway for oh, the third term. Horn Francis now will get the centre clearance. Another sending clearance of Port Adelaide. They've been good at that tonight. Good mark, though, from Laverde. The NR is booksy, mate. Laverde now goes long down the line. On Francis, great grab. Having, a, having some nice moments. Jason Orn Francis. Dixon on the lead almost. Trickles out for Finlayson. Socks at Ford now. Marshall just miskicked it. And he gets it out of there, McGrath. And is that on the full? Looks like that's maybe just stayed in. And it has. I know it has gone out on the full. Horn Francis will take the kick. kick. I thought he was going to stand up, but hit the lead in the pocket for Finn Layson. And he can now snap this around the corner. <laughs> Finn Layson now, around the corner. Usually good kick for goal, just didn't bend back enough. First point of the second half, behind to Finn Layson. Kicking now, Nick Cox marks. And now a kick for Horn. Francis oh, almost got up there. But it trickles out the back here through Hobbs. Low kicks and nice one. Should have marked that one, Gresham. Had a good start to the game, but has sort of slowed down a wee bit. And Hobbs, that's not a good kick. Right down Aaliyah Aaliyah's throat. Kane Farrell now. Who's he going to go by foot two? He's going to launch it deep. Gets in front. Nick Cox drops the mark. Finn Mason now. Nick Cox under it. Hobbs. Cox. Tackle. Still out here. And nice there from Bergman. Good tackle. No, still out. And Butters applies the heat. Ball's still out here. No one can get it out. Now Merritt can. He can whack it on the boot. Good spore came there from Zerk Thatcher. Radigalia. Legally 
Trying to beat out his opponent. Not a great set of hands there. Rosie under it. Great first half. Gets the hands out to Houston. Inboard now to Horn Francis. Bang. Look at that. Just bounces off two attempt, attempted tacklers there. How yeah, about that? I mean, I tell you what. Horn Francis, he's, he might not have the most dominating statistic sheet. But just like his you know, ability to stand up and tackles and burst through. It's been great to watch in this game so far. Anyway, now they go out the outer side here, Port. Short kick. Marshall. They're out here by the looks of it. Jace Burgoyne's on. So Boak is out. Burgoyne. Not the greatest kick for his first one. And not a great hand pass as well. Well, they've just coughed that up with ease. It's Nick Martin now. They want to go through the middle here, the Dons. Oh, look at Jed McEntee. Apply the heat. But they could be out here, Essendon. The kick does it settle here for Hobbs. Zerg Thatcher in pursuit. Can he get the gather? He can't. Oh, well done from Zerk Thatcher. Beautifully done one-on-one. -on -one. And Houston gets it out to Jace Burgoyne. And he kicks to Zaki Butters. Butters now will pump it long. Off hands now and Marshall goes with the soccer. And this will probably work if it is. No, the bounce is in favour him, but it does with Mackay. Gives the hands to Merritt. And whacks a long one out in the direction towards Harry Jones. Jones now over the top. Kick just couldn't hit the target there of Redmond, but he did well to extract it again out to Zach Merritt, who's finding the footy this game. He goes inside 50. Not as great as kick as earlier earlier. Good mark there. Hopefully going well, though. Welcome to the stream, mate. Lee now goes long down the line. Nice tap out there. Connor Rosie, another disposal his way. He goes out towards the wing with a lovely kick. Ah, should have been marked there from Willem Drew. As now Redmond off the turnover. Goes down the line. Houston beautifully done there, but that for a spoil. And Houston gets it back again. And they could be gone here, the pair. As now Jackson Mead has got acres of space. He goes deep to one-on-one. -on -one. Good body work there from Jordi Artis. Oh, but he's dropped the mark. Oh, how has he dropped that? We've seen a few drops tonight, I tell you what. Should have taken that. Parrish now gets it out of there. Yeah, nice intercept from Dan Houston. He always does that well, Houston. I think he um, just a yeah, really good intercepting play that can lock it in the forward half well. And now he'll pump it in inside 50. Where are the leaders? Ooh, is Dixon pushed out there? Nothing given. Poor hand pass there from Mackay. Now off hands. Burn Jones for Soldo. He's turned out to be a fine recruit for the pair so far this year. And another one for Port Adelaide. This one's now turning out to a bit of a margin. 42 points it is. Probably should add that to game later this year, old mate. Yeah, no worries, Nick, mate. Uh, take care, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Head out now. Rosie again. <sighs> Jesus Christ, he's just been on fire. Takes a bounce as well. Doesn't know where to go. So then he'll go short to Jackson Mead. Short now to Butters. Uh, nice there from Lockie Jones. I thought that was Soldo for a sec because the haircut. And oh, almost Marshall in the lead. Now McGrath to Martin. And memory throwing. Bond's just asleep. 
Soto matching Grundy so far this year. It's been good to see them go up against each other this year. Yeah, no, I mean, impact for clubs, Soto and Grundy have been great for their clubs. And, you know, you, you, you'll hear Richmond supporters say this. Like, I think talent-wise, he's almost as good of a player than, uh, as Nankervis, too. Rosie, another touch, but that's a smother there from Merritt. Packages lost. Yeah, they've just lost all their, their forward half winners, and they just can't move the footy at the moment. And they're getting Eden alive in the midfield, too. Willem Drew now, nice hands to Jackson Mead. He gets it out. And over the top now for Rosie. Oh, bang. What a collision that was. And ball taken over again. Seven minutes roughly into this third term. Willem Drew gets a little squippy kick forward. Nice hands from Merritt. Now McGrath loves to take the game on. He gives it over the top. Probably not the greatest set of hands there for Perkins. Looks like it was a late tackle, so it's downfield free here for Essendon. Anyway, cold worn out. Deep kick, almost straight, but where the crumb is here? Gresham's been quiet. Apart from that first 10 minutes or so, he was on fire. Kick the first two for Eston. Jake Kelly playing forward tonight. He's dispossessed. Good pressure again from Port Adelaide. Being tougher at the footy. Yeah, ball up. Now if Adams in the team sitting. Yeah, I mean, I just hope we really improve our midfield, which has always been a bit of a weak point for us. Anyway, now, oh, geez, down the full there from Gresham. Just a soccer out of bounds. And that's going to be holding free there against Jordi Artis. Redman's ball. Yeah, he's putting together a fine game, Dylan, mate. Kick three goals in the first half. And he hasn't looked like stopping. I mean, I don't know why it's not tagging him. He's just, he's just got so much ball. Redmond now, you know he's got the distance. Maybe not with that kick, though. And boundary throwing it is. Yeah, so far so good for me as well, Lockie. Yeah, I mean, all, all the favourites have won so far, so I think a lot of people will be starting off 3-3. Three and three. Can't really see BS in coming back in this game, to be honest. They just look lost. Forward of the ball and defensively, they're getting torn apart and just around the footy too. There's always second in the footy. Just feels like Port have always been able to get first possession. There's that man again. Rosie, another touch. Now Jackson Mead, good clever hands over the top here to Rioli. He's got to get rid of it quick. He does. And it's downfield free here. Oh, no. That's got to be advantage. Oh, that has to be Finlayson's ball. Fair enough. That was a late, it was a late bump, I think, Cal. Finlayson now. Short to Rosie. Okay, that's his 27th touch, Rosie. Bloody hell. Inside 50. Oh, almost there. Should have, Probably should have marked that, to be honest, Marshall. Dersma now. He goes back. And now a long kick down the line. That one goes out. Hornets crack. Yeah, I've liked his. I like. I've liked his moments when he's got the ball cameras. He doesn't need to get. He doesn't get a lot, obviously. But like, you know, he's a hard player to tackle. He bursts through. He's had some nice, some nice moments throughout this game. Very thrown here. Finlayson playing for the free. Nothing given. Burton now, hands again to Rosie. I mean, bloody hell, he's getting a touch about every 30 seconds, and now he just wants to take the game on. Oh, my God, who will stop him? Bloody hell. 
He's just going nuts at the moment. And now a chance out the back, but Nick Martin will get there first. Burn Jones applies the heat. Martin keeps it in. Very well done. And now by foot. Good mark there from Caldwell, one-on-one. -on -one. And now gives the quick hands to Perkins. He wants to run and gun. The Bombers haven't kicked a goal since the Stone Age. And that's just a poor kick. Not giving length for the greatest, greatest service there. Yeah, Willem Drew Marks. Nice kick there, Finlayson. Marks in midfield. And a kick and boards. A nice one to Farrell. And he can line up from the goal square. Goes deep. Ball hits the deck. Good spoils. Like Butters time perhaps now. Ah, uh, misses wrong side of the post. Dixon slow, think he might be lame. He's playing for freeze. Yeah, but he's that man for Port that can always take a contested grab where sometimes no other player can. So, you know, I've got to play him to his strengths. But obviously he's old and, you know, his body can let him down too, no doubt. You know, explain Port's main weakness, their defence. Certainly was last year. They gave up the most points in the top eight, I think, or the top ten last year. And I mean, look how, they, look how it was against Melbourne. I thought their defence, probably not their, their back six, but just like how they defended transition was, was pretty poor against Melbourne. So they're looking much stronger at that tonight. They look accountable. Their pressure's been good. That's not a mark for Bergman there. So it quickly goes in board to the Hornet. Look at this. It's just, it's just numbers lining up. They're just moving the ball so freely. On Francis. Bergman. But, you know, I still think that that triad of um, Radagalia and Zerk Thatcher and of, of um, Elia Lira is a good one in the air. But yeah, they always, if they can have their blunders, like we saw with Radagalia last week, with dropping that. <laughs> trying to mark and it went over the line. Oh, dear. Uh, I think Kelch should get the win, sports nut, mate. Um, yeah, I'm liking how they're playing. But you've always just got to go with an against the grain tips. I'm going Freo. It could really not pay off because you just don't know. Oh, oh, what a goal. Snapping ball there from Willie Rioli. He's on fire tonight. I think he's kicked his third. Twelve goals, five seventy-seven. Four goals, four twenty-eight. When was Essendon's last goal? Their last goal was the six-minute mark in the second term through Archie Perkins, and Port Adelaide have kicked one, two, three, four, five, six goals unanswered, and now it's up to forty-nine points. Three goals for Willie Rowley too. He's having a great game, and I've always said this on the channel: Willie Rowley, I think he's an underrated player in the AFL for his position. Just, um, I thought he was actually a really, really serviceable recruit for Port last year, and he, I think he's having a good start this season. Sneaks home that one. Off we go in the middle again. Bunners now, Soccer's out of there. Soldo just gets the hands out, merit under that one. Now Nick Martin. Oh, jeez. Drop mark there. Chance now for Essendon. It comes through Jay Gresham. Can he kick his third? He sure can. Cue the Bronx cheers. Essendon finally kick a goal. Yeah, no, I'll be I'll be watching with an eager eye, sports nut, mate. I went for a gut feels, yeah, fair enough, mate.
Finlayson should go. He does. Another goal from the centre bounce. Sorry about this, lads. I'm just texting something. Something needs to make more teams performance finally kick another. Horn and Butter's always doing magic. Yeah, for sure, cameras. Yeah, fourth goal from centre bounce. Oh, that from Butters. Oh, I love Butters, like just the sticking the tongue out as well. <laughs> Gotta love him. Seven ten to play. Jeez, this this is just, this quarter feels like it's been going on for ages because of all the goals. Butters again, have a look at this. They're just winning out of the middle every time now. Inside, 50 for Horn Francis. And who's up here? Heppel. It's out of there. Nice there from Zerk Thatcher. Strong tackle though from Langford. So that's just been a disappointing performance from Essendon. I was really expecting that they'd turn up for this game, but I feel like they've just they've gone into their shells. They just can't win it out of the out of the middle. Like they were ranked number one in clearances before this game. Christ, you could you could probably say from watching this, if you're new to the game, they'd be ranked last. Just getting absolutely smashed around the ball, especially as the games wore on. Anyway, snap around the corner. Good spore there from Lockie Jones. Cool goal gets it off hands. And impossible again. Lord Francis now breaks free. Again, he's been doing that plenty of times tonight, but not a great set of hands. And how about that tackle? Flies the heat well. No edge if it was never there. Yeah, they certainly haven't had their edge tonight. Been very poor on that. And then again, just look at that. Just too easy. Another touch coming for Rosie. Out across to Dan Houston. Good foot use of this man. Inside 50. Heppel arrives late. Won't get there. But Mackay. Oh, he's pretty unlucky. Could have been played the mark there. Centering ball. Doesn't really favour a Port Guernsey. Spore came from Hind. So Hind is on the ground. Don't know who came off. Kelly, good one-on-one -on -one win there. He gets the slap in his favour, and now they can go by foot here, Essendon out the back. Not a good kick. Jeez, they're kicking forward to centre. has just really let them down. Short kick now. Jackson Mead. And short the butters. Oh, Butters oof, just gets it to Farrell. Five minutes to play until three quarter time. Just getting bad to worse for Essendon. Start of the game really promising, but. We're just getting out, outdone in almost every facet of the game. Burton now out across Zerk Thatcher. Takes the mark. Nick Barnes had, has had as much of ball as Rosie, but has impact disposal. Yeah, I mean, it's because he just gets fed the ball so much with that role he plays. Jace Burgoyne now. The sub, he gonna, he's going to pump it long. Where's the tall timber? Oh, and out the back. Look at that. It's just fallen right in Jordi Artis's lap. How about that? Oh, Jordi Artis now to kick his second goal of the game. Kicks on its way. Does it hold the line? No, it does not. 
and across for a point. Well, now a 50 point margin. I don't think many people were expecting this sort of a margin. Nick Martin now, another disposal. And a low kick finds Corwell. Don's going to kill on the midfield at the moment. Yeah, they certainly are, stranger. Second and third term especially. They've just lost their edge. Oh, <laughs> worth the effort there from Dixon, but he completely clobbered <laughs> um, Mackay in the process. Another poor turnover there from uh, Essendon is now Finlayson wants to go. Who's he got? He goes inside 50, Rioli a chance. Burger on a chance to kick his first of the game. Ooh, too much bend. Oh, so free look, looking pretty good. Yeah, they are. And I mean, to be fair, like heading into the season, I don't think many were expecting them to be 3-0. I thought their win against Adelaide was good. And the Brisbane one, though, was, was fantastic. And usually when, like, teams start off the season like that, they're going to be promising for the year. Anyway, Jake Kelly marks on the wing. Down the line now from Kelly. Drop there from Aaliyah Aaliyah. Soldo hits the deck. And now Zach Merritt, another disposal inside 50. That's a good kick. He's always a lovely kick inside 50. Zach Merritt, he finds the leading man in the pocket of Harry Jones, who's been quiet tonight. He wants to go for goals. A few teams, qualities of Bombers, uh, Bombers' bottom six plays fall away. Now, I think that's on, on show tonight a wee bit as well. I mean, let's have a look at the stat line. Jai Menzi. I, I felt Jai Menzi probably should have been dropped last week. I thought he was ordinary. Canary Jones kick this. It looks good. Yeah, great kick. Well, two of the last three going Port's way. They get this back out to 45 points. But yeah, no, Laverto I think, struggled a bit tonight. Um... No, no, Ridley's hurt them. Like I, said, I still think he's a big part of that defence. He's yet to play for them this year. I heard he has, a, he now has another injury setback, so that's no good. Um, you know, String has been quiet tonight. It, it's just not been a good collective effort from them tonight, Essendon. They're their big play. I mean, apart from Merritt, just you know, they're, they're, their match winners in the forward half, and I think their defence has let them down too. Another point there for Port. So 45 points the margin is. Plenty of support out there on the hill. Have a look at it. Anyway, Zach Merritt now. They finally went to centre clearance here, Essendon. Inside 50 tries and cuts off the kick, but Aaliyah Lears there first. Could he be pinned for on the ball? And yes, Nick Hines born. Oh, yeah, he's, he's lost the feathers, Nick Hines. Going for the full shave. Looks like I've bombed out tonight, Eric. Yeah, I certainly have, mate. But chance for Essendon to get two in a row here. Get this under 40 points. Yeah, no, he's been all over it, Andrew, mate. So again, though, he doesn't need much to make an impact, but he's been able to find plenty of it. As Nick Hind, can he convert this goal? Kicks on its way. No good. I'll fly on that way. 44 points the margin as Houston will kick it back into play here. Good scoreboard, that one. Houston now to Zerk Thatcher. And then across to Farrell, I think that is. Now goes long down the line. Spoil off hands. Rosie under that one. Can't get an effective disposal. Ball up. Yeah, hopefully, Eric, mate. 
It's not really been the greatest quality games uh, to kick off Gather Round, must be said. Maybe we're waiting for Saturday night, perhaps. Maybe Bulldogs or Geelong or something like that. Jace Burgoyne, very well done. Rioli now. He goes back. Butters. Very well done. And a great kick there to centre half. 40 finds Marshall. Oh, not Marshall, sorry. Um, Finlayson. And that will do it for th the third term. And yeah, pretty much as expected. Port Adelaide in control. Essendon just looked shot. Chance, though, after the siren for Jeremy Finlayson. Jeez, this would be some sort of a kick. Can he boot this one home? The kick's on its way. Does it have the distance? It was online, but it did not. No score there. But yes, yeah, Port Adelaide look home, though. They're in control of this one by 44 points heading into the main final break. Yeah, they just continue to really kick goals for fun. Um, as in that third term, they were able to keep Essendon scoreless up until they were able to kick two of the last three through Gresham and then Harry Jones. Um, yeah, in the end, it was a three goal, four to two goal, one quarter. So in control, the pair. Have a look at the team stats. As we went to the final break, uh, 44 inside, 50s to 35 going Port Adelaide's way. So, yeah, they've been much more efficient tonight, which is a good sight to see if you're a Port supporter. 32 to 26 clearances, 14 to 6 centre clearances, and 20 to 18 stoppage clearances. That one going in essence favour. Plus 6 contest possessions, um, 74 to 58 marks, 10 to 4 contested marks also Port Adelaide's way. I think good in the air tonight, especially inside 50. Uh, 30 touches for Nick Martin. Um, yeah, he's putting together a good game. Um, you know, just just your standard, really high disposal game from Nick Martin. Um, but not as good as Connor Rosie again. Continued to have it on a string in that third quarter. Um, who has 29 touches, three goals, one behind, five clearances. Zach Merritt also with 29, so he's been getting it done too. The Bombers skipper. Six clearances. A goal assist to his name. <clears throat> intercept possessions, 10 for Nick Martin. That says something, though. Like Nick Martin, Nick Martin has the highest intercept possessions for Essendon's defense, where it really should be someone like a Mackay or, De, uh, Mackay or a Redmond or something like that. Uh, Dan Houston also has eight. Mackay with seven. Inside 50s, Zach Merritt's leading it all with six. Horn Francis has five. Contest possession leader is Connor Rosie with 14, followed by 13 with Willem Drew. And we still have one quarter to go. And geez, there is, um, there's just some high stat lines already. You'd feel, you know, you look at these stat lines, you'd feel like, oh, okay, it's probably full time, but there's still a quarter to go. Uh, but yeah, too good, Port Adelaide, in this game. Yeah, I think Essendon will definitely lick their wounds. So looking at the next five, the Port Adelaide Football Club going to play Fremantle. I think that's at, in Perth next week. Then Collingwood, St Kilda, Adelaide Showdown, then Geelong. So yeah, some tough games the next few for Port Adelaide for sure. Um, and then they've got... Uh, no, sorry, then Essendon have got the Bulldogs, Adelaide, the Anzac Day game against the Pies, West Coast, and then GWS. So yeah... Some uh, pretty interesting matchups, especially for Port, though. But uh, no, I think I've just been the way better side tonight. Feel for your roles. Try and keep any enthusiasm in your call when the game is lame as this. Ah, oh, no, I appreciate it, mate. But, you know, yeah, that's that's it. Try and keep enthusiastic. How much time on the left? Uh, it's currently three-quarter time, Cody, mate. Um, so, yeah, the, the final quarter about to start soon. Port versus Fru in Adelaide. Uh, it's a stranger. Um, yeah, that's, that's up in Adelaide, you'd say. Um, oh, probably Port. Sorry, I, I misread that. I thought you said Carlton versus Freo because they're both playing there tomorrow in Adelaide. Well, Port Adelaide score better 106 to 120. Um, between 106 to 120. 
Um, yeah, I think so. They'll probably, they, they might take their foot off the gas a little bit. They're up by quite a bit of a margin, I'd say so. Ready for 100 points. Uh, yeah, mate, it's going to be good. <laughs> Uh, going to be um, a few people have told me uh, the, the great man Cardi's going to be behind the goals, and AFL legend told me too he's going to be there too. They're going to be behind the goals and trying to mark um, the footy because you know it's um, it's at Adelaide Hills, so you know the people will obviously be standing behind the goals. What website are you using to pull up all the stats? Oh, just the AFL website, uh, cow mate. I've got a yeah, I've got a two monitors set up, so I'm looking here. The game, and then I've just got my other screen here. Um, and yeah, just just the AFL website, mate. Thanks to our Lord and Saviors of Champion Data, we can look at the stats almost instantly as it's done throughout the game. How good. Last year I was at the Gold Coast Game Hotel during Swans vs Eagles. They were up 29 for um, we're, We were up 29 floors up and watched the Swans hit the 200. Funny as oh, very nice, mate. Yeah, I mean, obviously I was streaming that game too. It was it was it was quite funny. Like you know, I loved how as we we're getting closer and closer to 200, the viewer count started getting up a bit. Like oh wow, people were actually suddenly interested in this total smashing. And then obviously no sorry, McLean uh, final term underway. McLean. Missed, um, missed the shot to put us into 200. He missed an absolute sitter, um, and then uh, and then he wins a free just after, and then he kicks the goal. It was a bit of an anticlimactic um, sort of ending towards the 200 total, but we got there in the end. Anyway, be only thrown again. Marshall now, dispossessed. Parrish gets it out. That kick's smothered. Drew now gets it out. Rosie, don't tell me for a fourth. Bloody hell. No, he's dropped it. Should be pinned, and he is. Uh, what on Port made amends for me last week? Yeah, I mean, I've tipped, yeah, I tipped Port last week too and got it wrong. But yeah, no, good thing uh, backed them in again. Yeah, I mean, they're, going to, they're always going to be tough to beat, especially off the rebound, back-to-back -back home games. Soldo should, probably should have marked that one. Houston mops up. And across to Ali. And a short kick to Burton. Just want to go down the line here. Oh, it's the deck. Nice from Burn Jones. Gets the gather. Out here for Willie Rioli. What can he manufacture? He's having a good night tonight. He finds the centering ball. Jed McIntyre. Good footy. And he can go back to kick his first of the game. Yeah, no worries, mate. Take care, stranger. Um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your night. Jed McEntee now. Can he kick his first of the game? Hasn't really done much tonight. And there we go. He's on the board. Paul kicked the first of the final term. And there's Kenny Inkley on the bench. Not much Not much of this tonight. The, uh, the, the, Kenny, the Kenny special, the... These ones. He usually does that when it's a closer game. And oh, bloody hell, he hasn't, he hasn't been cheerleading that much tonight. He's usually up on the bench just 
clapping and dancing and all that. Last year was a complete mess injuries. I had to use excuses. Uh, that was the fact. Yeah, exactly right, cow mate. And, you know, sort of same from a Swans perspective too. I think they were saying we had the second worst injury, at least behind Gold Coast. Uh, not Gold Coast, West Coast. Um, but, you know, like, it's good though. Like, at least Yo and uh, Jeremy McGovern have, have looked fit and well so far. I mean, obviously, I heard they went up to Qatar to get their bodies right, and they're looking looking good like McGovern's. Statistic-wise, I think he's actually had a really good start this season, and with Howden, they probably would be getting beaten a lot more. Nice tap from Drew Horn. France is another centre clearance. He streams inside 50. Almost Dixon and Mackay there on the line, and now Nick Cox will get it out to Redmond, and he'll chip it out wide to try and find Heppel when he takes the mark. Yeah, we'll be part of Chipping ball over the top. Not the greatest for Parrish. Jeez, Par Parrish is very ordinary tonight. He just looks slow. Get out again. Rosie. Gets the hands out. Now, sold on to this one, taken in an apple tackle. Umpires ball. So, Port Adelaide by 50 points. Putting on an absolute statement tonight. Soldo hit out. Horn Francis. Oh, just missed it. That would have worked well. Off hands here. Uh, Langford did well. He gives it out across now to Heppel. And now Nick Hind. The man who's lost the feathers with a measuring kick to Caldwell. Just got there. Takes a nice one-handed grab. Chance now for Caldwell. So get a goal back here for us and get this one under 50 points. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, as King Matt, you put it you put it spot on. Thought they were starting well and competing, but they've just lost total touch in their midfield. And Caldwell will set it up here, but Alirali is there in position A to get the big spall in. He should have gone for goal. Didn't disguise the kick well enough as um, Burn Jones gets it out of the fence towards a one-on-one. -on -one. Finlayson fights for it. Can't win it. Parrish now picking up the scraps. Twisting, turning on his non preferred. He puts out the full well on, well, as I just said before, like he's looked really ordinary tonight, Darcy Parrish. What's his stats like? Um, yeah, jeez. Only the, only the 19 touches, but 14 of those 19 disposals have been hand passes. And he's going 56 metres. Bloody hell. Been quiet tonight. Jackson Mead now will want to go down the line, but that's not a good kick. Is it's all Andy McGrath's. Now Nick Cox blasts one long. Can Draper fly for this one, but Radical is just in too good of a position. Not a good kick again. And we've been seeing that a lot of times tonight. They're kicking forward of centre. Has really let them down, Essendon. Burn Jones now. Down the line he goes. Oh, no, sorry, he goes towards the midfield. Ball hits the deck. Rosie there again, as always. Houston now. Whacks a barrel forward. Can he compete for this one, Dixon? It trickles out the back. And yeah, Dixon's just too slow. <laughs> ben McKay. Now Nick Cox. Kick's not a great one, is Dan Houston. Always a very good intercept marker. Go now by foot. A low kick. Oh, it looks great there for uh, for Marshall. Just couldn't get the um. Sorry, just couldn't get the uh, the trajectory right. But again, just too easy inside fifty. Nice hands and butters. A clean kick finds Burn Jones. Chance to kick his second. Burn Jones now. Can he slot this one home? He sure can. 15th goal for Port Adelaide. And they get it now up to a 56-point margin. 
Well, if you're a neutral supporter, not really the uh, the most entertaining start. <laughs> Probably to, to gather around. These have been some pretty convincing results. I know Adelaide were able to bring it close, but still felt Melbourne in control. Probably watching it wise, that Brisbane and North game was probably one of the worst games to watch. <laughs> um, it felt like North would just turn the ball over constantly. Compared to Dan Houston's 19 possessions. Yeah, well, to be fair, they're different types of players. Like Houston runs and guns. Basically, every kick, he, you know, every disposal of his is a kick. Like, you know, for example, Houston's had 15 kicks, six handballs. So there you go. Back underway in the middle. Hit out a clean one to Butters, but instantly tackles that in the back. Nothing give any tries and slaps it forward against some territory, but was unable to. Bergman now. Kick smothered. No, sorry, it'll be actually... No, sorry, it wasn't smothered. It was just that bad of a kick. Martin intercepts. And now Eston... Oh, jeez. That's just fundamental errors there from Red. Redmond's been quiet tonight, too. Hasn't been able to really play to his strengths. Just a really uncharacteristic fumble from the handle receive. 13-28 to play till full time. Sold over the hit out. Draper. Back forward from center field. And that will work for Harry Jones. Plays on now. A deep kick. Can Hine. Looks like he got there early. Good spool there from um, Lockie Jones. And Houston's taken in a strong tackle. Oh, well, looking like a percentage boosting win, though, for the for the pair. Gresham first hands. Not a good hand pass, though, as Burgoyne gets it out. One on one on the wing. And now Kelly will just go back to Redmond. To Merritt. Merritt. And go to Setterfield. Setterfield now launches in towards the pocket. Good spore there from Jones. How about that? Butters. Another disposal is way. Farrell now. Big boot. He'll just want to whack it long towards the one on one. It's Dixon and Mackay. Mackay did very well, but he drops the mark. Oh boy. And now they could be out here. Chance. Rosie grabs it. Instantly tackle. Gets the off fighting hand pass out. McEntee. It's a squibbing ball forward here for Geordie Artis. Can he pick it up cleanly? He can't. Mackay did well. Back to Cox. Tries and keeps it in. He can't. Butters, bang, applies the heat. But he... How about that hand pass, though? It falls out to Martin. Corridor kick. Not a good one. Well done there from Farrell, who hits the deck again. Back and forth with this passage of play at the moment. Look at Charlie Dixon applying the heat. Oh, almost. Martin, another disposal. Out across now to Harry Jones. Can hit the lead of Hind. And, oh, he slipped over there out of the Hine will stroll into an open goal and set it up. What in the world was that from Nick Hind? Jeez, I mean, that's going to be replayed all over the um, the TV shows and the pundits will be talking about that one plenty of times. That's just fundamental errors right there. That's terrible. High ball now. What in the world was that kick? Anyway. Back in the midfield now. It's worked. Belair. Chipping ball. There's a beauty. To Kane Farrell. Lo love this guy's kicking though, Farrell. Oh, they can go here, Port. They're at the back. Oh, almost there. The kick was smothered. Pressure applied nicely there from McIntyre. He goes head under. Hand pass wasn't great. Now Merritt. Good awareness. Goes by foot. Deep kick. But they've got the numbers every day of the week. Easy stuff for Charlie Dixon. Has he, been, has he swung in defence or something? Anyway, out across now. Jace Burgoyne starting to get a bit of touch. And now he goes. To... Um, what's its face? Alir Alir. Archie Perkins subbed out, and he had a promising second term, Archie Perkins, but he's fizzed out of this game. Orn Francis now. We'll whack it long. Dixon, good mark on the lead there against Mackay. 
Oh, he's getting eaten alive tonight, Mackay. Just every time. And he's conceding contested marks. Tell you what, though, North fans will be up and about. <laughs> they love death riding Mackay. Charlie Dixon. And puts it across the face. 940 to play. McGrath now. What in the what, look, what sorry, what in, what in the world is Nick Martin doing there? Like McGrath's trying to take the kick in and he's just Like he's just he's just running right next to him. Like what is he meant to do? I just think that's a bit dumb for Martin. He's got to gain a bit of separation. Another front half turnover though for Essendon. Ball trickles out the back. Butters attacking the footy. Nice hands. Beautiful stuff from the Zach attack. Gives it to Burn Jones. He's having a good night tonight. Darcy Burn Jones, the 2020 All Australian. Port hit the ton. I'm utterly stunned. Yeah, no, this is this is some sort of a performance, but yeah, Essen have just been dire tonight. They've like look at that. Like Bunners just attacks through as he pleases. Like there's there's been no there's no it's been the complete polar opposite to how they've been attacking the footy. I thought their pressure was fantastic against us, and it was against the Saints, and now maybe they've just been drinking their own bathwater or something. It's just like really, really poor. Anyway, nice there, Horn Francis. Rosie, another touch. Kicks to half forward on the lead. That will work for Jordi Artis, but he fumbles. And look at that. Apple stumbles over the ball. And look at that. And pass out of bounds. I mean, I'm not trying to be Eston's number one critic, but bloody hell. Just a lot of fundamentals tonight has been terrible from the Dons. Two to four week of potentially um, the early prognosis is uh, oh sold out of the ruck again. Ooh, almost he uh, put someone actually out the full. Nick Martin back to Nick Cox. The Nick's getting combined. Drop mark there from Langford. Farrell now keeps it in. Well done, Lockie Jones. Having a better game than last week. I think last week was one of his poorest games. Good spall there. Ball trickles out now. And a kick forward. For, I think that was from centre field. Couldn't see from that long angle. Radical air, nice strong mark. He plays for the 52. Don't think he'll be giving it. Radigale now will pump it in long. Ball hits the deck. Good attack on the footy there from Dersma. Nice pressure there from Butters. Who's this out to now? Ryan Burton. Horn Francis. Oh, beautiful stuff. He's having a he's putting on a show tonight, Jason Horn Francis. So Rosie has 35. Horn Francis is 30. Butters is 24. Look at this. Look at just this combination from the midfielders. But I'll I tell you what, though. I think this is exactly... Look, I'm not, I wouldn't say exactly, but these are just sort of the results I think could be healthy for us. And obviously not a smacking like this, but, you know, a bit of a reality check, perhaps, because they were ranked number one for clearances heading into this game, and they've just been smacked around the footy. So it just goes to show the comps very even. And they've just completely been outdone by a fantastic side of Port. 17 goals, eight. They've bloody kicked accurate tonight. This is just a complete performance. Jordi Artis kicks, I think, his third goal of the game. Uh, he, no, he kicks his second. There we go. He's got 13 touches, seven marks, three tackles. Good comeback game from Jordi Artis, obviously, off the back. 
of that um, that ACL injury. Charlie, welcome to the stream. Mate. Hopefully going well. You've joined us at a, uh, you know, not not the not the most exciting time. About to wind down, but yeah, hopefully going well, mate. Well, there's going to be plenty of media talk around Essen this week, as always. Should be interesting. 6.50 out to play till full time. It's not been the most entertaining game, lads, but yeah, I've, I've appreciated the support in the stream tonight. Been good to chat. Finlayson, a bit of a throw. Now, kind of rosy. Can get a centre clearance. You know what? He's just going to go for his fourth. He's going to go for his fourth. Oh. That would have been special. <laughs> He saw, he saw the bright lights, he saw the Hollywood sign, and he's like, I'm going, I'm going. But he misses. Now that would have been special, 35 and 4. <laughs> Bloody hell. Stringer, that's a good mark. Was it juggled? No, nope, it was a mark. Yeah, Stringer very quiet tonight. He kicked the goal early on. But just eight touches for him tonight. Well, it's a bounty throw, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's played on it. <laughs> what is he thinking? He sold the candy whilst being out of bounds. Oh, my God. Yeah, as long as playing bad tonight, Essen, I think they've just... Yeah, they've just... The fundamentals... As I say again, I'm, if there's any Essen supporters, I'm not trying to be a prick or anything, but bloody hell, it needs to be. It needs to be said. Draper must have hit out. Big on the bombers tonight, though. But oh, geez, a moment of silence for the people that that tipped Essen, though. Bloody hell, that's not going to look. That's not going to look pretty. But do respect people who are going for the bold tips. But you know, just poured on the rebound, hard to go past. As now they just get forward again, Port Adelaide. Deep kick here. Who's up? Charlie. Two on one. Up nope. from the side. Dersme drops the mark. Ball hits the deck. Mackay. Well done. Hobbs. Out across the centre field. And now Laverde. On there from Dan Houston. Good slap. Burgoyne. Very nicely done. He goes inside 50. Can Charlie fly for this? Good spool there from Mackay. Ball hits the deck. Who's at home here? Nice set of hands there from the Bombers. Oh, almost. Tackle there. But he gets it out, Heppel. And Nick Cox marks it half back. Off we go, well, AFL YouTubers guy. Um, hold up a sec, it's just turned over. As they again go deep inside 50. Who's at home here? Maybe at the back. It's going to be a block against Dixon. I'm moving up five, five, points, five spots, my tipping comp, because everyone's in front of me to tip the bombers. Ah, damn, no good YouTubers. But hey, uh, respect to you, mate, for actually going with a. Going against the grain tip. Because it's not not always the most popular choice. Deep kick now. Who can take this one? No one can. Look at that from Houston. Very well done. Ball trickles out though. Lucky Jones applies the heat. Still gets out. Set of field. Zach Merritt. Kick works for Hind. Plays on now. He wants to go and try and find Langford. Defence has been fantastic for Port tonight. And trickles through for a point. For the Bombers. I tipped Port, but everyone in front of me tipped the... Oh, right. Sorry. I, I misread that. That's my bad, YouTubers guy. Uh, do you think Hawthorne get over the line? Um, probably not. I think with that win for the... Um, just that win notch for Collingwood will start to give him a bit of confidence. They were good. Deep kick from Burton. McKay in the air. Couldn't take the mark. Heppel now. Zach Merritt another touch. He's been a ball magnet tonight. And now kick over the top. Good work here for McEntee. And the ball goes over the line. How many throwing? Willem Drew now. Gets it on the shoot. Kick not a good one. Out in the full. 
So 59 points the margin is. Scores from turnover, 11 goals, 6.72 as well. Th to three goals, four, Port Adelaide's way. But yeah, obviously, fellas, um, stay tuned on the channel if you wish. Tomorrow at 1.30, the Swannies. One of the games of the season against West Coast. I'm only joking. But yeah, no, stay tuned if you want to come by and say hi. I mean, you know, it's probably not really going to be the most entertaining game. You'd, think, you'd expect it to be a, a, a bit of a blowout, but... I'll be cheering on my boys as always. Down the line now from Hobbs. String got up early. Probably an unrealistic attempt, and it is. So Merritt's got 35 touches. Rosie's got 36. A lot of just high accumulating midfielders tonight. Not 15 for Butters. That's a nice kick. Just finds a short option of. I think that's Jackson Mead. Low well, kick to Burton. But yeah, massive confidence boosting win as well for Port Adelaide. Um, I think now it's it's showing you the competition that we are still a good side at home. And we are hard to beat. Oh, Farrell. Here we go. No, hold up. He's held up. I thought he was going to go for goal. <laughs> Low kick's a nice one there to Burn Jones. Butters has gone into this game very really nicely too. He started slow, but now he's got 26 touches, 6 marks, 7 tackles. I'm going to switch out across here, Port. Just expecting the kicker to the hot spot here, and he does. Charlie. That's a block freak. Then Mackay's ball. And across, Dersman drops the mark. And taken over the line. And it's going to be free. Mackay now. Now to Nick Martin. So Nick Martin's got 35 touches. So many high disposal getters tonight. It's been a free-flowing game. It's not really been much... It's not really been... It's not really been like repeated stoppages, I guess you can say. And across to Burgoyne. Minute 20 to play. Jace Burgoyne now will hold it up. Go out towards the wing of... Um, Burn Jones. A low kick now. And a mark on the lead. For Jordi Artis. Probably on the customer's range here. Under a minute to play. Port too good tonight. Just wants to set it up. And Mackay, easy mark there for him. Short to Laverde. And out across to Merritt. And 50 metres as well for Merritt. Merritt now, gotten plenty of the ball late. Marks one long. Ball hits the deck. Langford taking on the strong tackle. And now Heppel around the corner, not a good kick again. Inside 50 use has been poor for Port Adelaide today. Now a crowd across. Can Inkley for sure be happy with this? And there it is, Port Adelaide. What a win. In a canter by 69 points at the end. Just dominance, absolute dominance. I think this is probably the best performance I've seen out of a game this year from one team. Just so good moving the footy, free-flowing game. Um, they were tough as nose, tough nosed until the middle, but they just won it out so well. Um, the use inside 50 is great. They were great in the air, but at the same time, Essendon, I thought, were terrible today. Um, you know, they, they started off well, but they just lost. They're touching the midfield. Um, Port were just winning out of the middle so often. They were always second to the footy, the Dons. 
Um, and yeah, the game was over pretty much by half time. It felt like they kicked a massive one in the third term, and in the end, 69 point winners. Um, yeah, complete performance for the pair. But yeah, bit of a yelling check for Essendon, I feel. Um, you know, the midfield was highly praised, but they've gotten two on apart today. And they're kicking it inside 50, really disappointing too. So, a lot of high disposal getters this game. Rosie, 36. He's my best on ground for sure. Zach Merritt, 36. Nick Martin, 35. Um, Horn Francis with 31. Just the midfield is getting it done. 10 clearances as well for Horn Francis. That's game high. 721 metres gained for, for Zach Merritt. Um, goal assists, three for Zach Butters. Um, intercept possessions, 14 for Ben McKay. So he got a bit of junk, to be honest, late. Dan Houston with 11 intercept possessions. Had himself a nice night again. Uh, contest possessions, 11, 17 for Willem Drew. 16 for Connor Rosie. 13 for Merritt and Horn Francis. Centre clearance leader, seven. Seven centre clearances for Jason Horn Francis. That's, uh, that's, that's something amazing. Bloody what a number that is. And seven inside 50s game high for Horn Francis, Merritt and Rosie. So two good Port Adelaide. Rosie definitely best on ground for me. Um, yeah, got to treat him now with a bit more respect at home. I thought, I, I, to be honest, Melbourne were just fantastic and really efficient against them last week. But they just had a feeling, though. You just, you, you know, I mean, yeah, you probably had that feeling off a rebound. Port Adelaide would come to play and get it done. And bloody hell, I was not expecting that. Really, really disappointing at the same time. Um, Essendon. Just a lack of intensity really did start to show as the game wore on. So that's all she wrote. Gather around. Really enjoyable so far this season. I mean, so far this round. Some very some very close and highly intense games. And that will continue tomorrow as I stream the Swans versus West Coast. Oh, boy. Uh, but enough of this West Coast uh, piss taking. It'll be time for that tomorrow. No, no I'm joking. Just having a laugh. But uh, thanks for tuning in, fellas. Port Adelaide, too good. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Catch you later.